Good evening, everyone. Hello. Baldur's Gate 3 is finally here. It is here. I am ready. Hope you guys are down for it. Uh, man, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. The only thing I've ever seen of this game at all, because I've, I've just avoided every little bit of information on this game outside of like what races and classes are available to play. I have avoided everything except for the like the initial opening cutscene because that's how they revealed the game, right? So that is all I have seen. That is all I have seen of this game. I'm very much looking forward to diving into this, seeing what goes on, and uh, just embracing the game for what it is. I can't believe Baldur's Gate 3 is actually here. It's officially released. It is time. It is time, men. Hope you're all doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. I need to refresh my page real quick. So you're going to see a no signal screen for just a second while I uh, fix this up here. And I think we are fixed. We're good to go. I had to do that so I could actually see my chat. Anyways, let me say hello to everyone in chat. Who do I see? I see Screamer, Antonino, Freddie Mercury, Lisa Y, Bren, Firebutt, Bud, Shawnee, Mythid Blue, JR 2.0, Janet Snakehole, Biggie, Suzanne, Girth Brooks, Snowboards, Rogs, Megadeth Mayhem, Miss Bradica, Simon Trice, Damnatic, Aqua, McDanian, Sykes, Bloodlost, Emo the Great, Lil Monster, Just James, Psyduck, Mustafa, Tundra, Atuki, Penshark, Andrew Henry, Cole. There's already so many people here, guys. Thank you for tuning in for this. It means, it, guys, listen, it means a lot to have you here today. Tube Tuberbia is here. Captain, welcome back. What's up, Josh Bleasy? Full Metal Owl, Winter, Lori Marsters, P Ball of Five. What's going on, folks? What's up, Bisconi, JWE, Damien? Hello, everyone. What's up, Purex? What's up, Shark Bits, Nate, Jennifer? Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Now, I do have all the graphics set to the highest quality. So hopefully there will be no graphical issues with that. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm going to start on Balanced. I've not played a CRPG in so long that I do not want to uh, go super challenging. We'll just do the, the normal intended experience here. Yep, allow access. Classic. Classic full screen business here. What's this? Cutscene time. I don't get chat to be there when video is full screen. The best you can do is theater mode. Theater mode, dude. Oh man, we got eye worms, dude. We got the eye worms. Enable tutorials. Yeah, teach me how to play, dude. Okay, guys, we're making a character. We're making a character. Now, you guys already know that I'm going to try to become a necromancer. And I decided that my race is going to be high elf. High elf. So that's what we're going to go for here. It's already selected high elf. Very good. Uh, cantrip. I mean, Bone Chill's necrotic. I haven't actually seen this stuff before. Let me take a look. 
Yo, Steve, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. First membership of the stream. Thank you so much, dude. Very kind of you. Thank you for being a member, dude. Oh, yeah, I think Bone Chill is where we go. I mean, it's one die eight necrotic damage, right? Undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls as well. Okay, let's go with that. Class is Wizard. We get Fire Bolts, Mage Hand, Ray of Frost. Nice. Nice. No Dark Elf? I mean, there's Drow. You have Wood Elf, and then, you know, there's, uh, you have Half Elves, and then you also have, uh, where is it? Like, Tieflings and Drow. I believe Drow are basically just underground elves, right? That's essentially the idea there. Um, yeah. So, Wizard, Cantrips. Oh, I can choose any of these, huh? I can choose any of these. Let's take a look. Which half of the elf? That's a great question. Poison spray? I feel like poison spray would be great. Mage hand, lights, dancing lights. Friends, gain advantage in charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. Blade ward, take only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. A little defensive. <laughs> they get the left side. Yeah, they get the left side. Okay, so I feel like necromancy often does involve cold, so I'm actually going to lose Firebolt here in place of Poison Spray. And then... Do I want to keep Mage Hand? I feel like Mage Hand could be good. In D&D, Mage Hand can have some pretty incredible things go on. Yeah, this is what we're going to stick with. Poison Spray, Ray of Frost, and Mage Hand. Write that down. Write that down. Uh, spells. Oh, boy. Mage Armor. Fog Cloud. Grease. Thunder Wave. Sleep. And Magic Missile. The classic Magic Missile. We love that. Yo, Aqua, thank you for gifting a membership going out to Lisa. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for it. Oh my god, Chromatic Orb. Josh Meadows with 13 months of membership. So stoked for this. Here's to another great stream. I already like your character. Let's do it. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Let's do it. Thank you for 13 months. False life gains seven temporary hit points until long rest. Can only have temporary hit points from one source. I feel like that could be pretty great to have. It is necromancy after all, too. Uh, magic missiles already selected. Let's see. Ice knife. So a shard of ice that deals one, one die 10 piercing damage. It explodes and deals two die 12, two to 12 cold damage to anyone nearby. So I guess it'd be 2 die 6. Leaves an ice surface. Okay, I think we want that. Ray of sickness? Oh, hell yes! Possibly poisons the target. Okay, ray of sickness is a big must. Armor class to 13 plus, it's dexterity modifier, fog cloud, blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it. Covers the ground in grease, slowing creatures within and possibly making them fall prone. Alright, let's lose Thunder Wave for Ray of Sickness. And then I think I want Ice Knife and False Life. Let's get False Life there. Magic Missile, I think, is just good to have because force damage, you know? Um, hmm. Put creatures into a magical slumber. Select targets up to a combined 24 hit points for two turns. The condition ends upon taking damage. 
Okay. Okay. Steve, thank you for 10 months of membership. 10 months of the most awesomest content ever. Can't be wrong. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you very much for it, Steve. And Bren with a gifted member going to Pen Shark. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. I think I'm going to lose Grease. I kind of want to keep Sleep around because that can kind of take targets out of the combat for a little while, you know? I think, we're, I, th I think I'm happy with this. I like the idea of Mage Armor. Yeah. Expeditious Retreat could be good, too. Feather Fall's nice. Damn. Oh, Feather Fall. Yeah, it's D&D, &D, essentially, Suzanne. It is very much so based on D&D. &D. What's up, Mark? What's up, Esman? You are one of my favorite streamers. Glad I caught the beginning of the stream. Thanks for being here, dude. Thanks for being here. What's up, Lauren? Yeah, there is genital customization as well, but I won't be messing with that because YouTube. Protect from evil and good. Protect an ally against the attacks and powers of aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Oh. Man. Should I? Man, I, I, it's so hard for me to choose like what I want here. Three die four plus three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to be my final character, by the way. I, I've just not actually customized what the uh, appearance looks like yet, guys. That is not my character yet. I'm just choosing all the stuff on this side first. Why would you even want to mess with the genitals? Because it's, uh, it's meant to be a deep role-playing experience. If you've ever, you know, heard of Dungeons & Dragons, this is something, you know, that... It can be a topic that is covered in the in your campaigns. Yo, Damien, becoming a member of the channel as well. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to look at this anymore. We're just going to move on. Background. Okay, we have 11 backgrounds here. Acolyte, you spent your life in service to a temple, learning sacred rites and prov providing sacrifices to the god or gods you worship. Serving the gods and discovering their sacred works will guide you to a greatness. Skill, insight and religion charlatan you're an expert in manipulation prone to exaggeration and more than happy to profit from it bending the truth and turning allies against each other will lead to greater success down the road lie and cheat manipulate the truth and sleight of hands criminal you have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than legal connections profiting from criminal enterprise will lead to greater opportunities in the future we get Deception and Stealth. Entertainer. You live to sway and subvert your audience, engaging common crowds and high society alike. Preserving art and bringing joy to the hapless and downtrodden heightens your charismatic aura. Acrobatics and Performance. Folk Hero. You're a champion of the common people, challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Saving innocence in imminent danger will make your legend grow. Animal Handling and Survival. Guild Artisan, use your skill in a particular craft has earned you membership in a mercantile guild, offering privileges protection while engaging in your arts. Repairing and discovering rare crafts will bring a new inspiration. Ooh, we get persuasion with that one. Ooh. All right, Noble. You are raised in a family among the social elite accustomed to power and privilege. Accumulating renown, power, and loyalty will raise your status. All right, history and persuasion. Outlander. You grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. Surviving unusual hazards in the wild will enhance your prowess and understanding. Athletics and survival. Sage. You're curious and well-read with an unending thirst for knowledge. Learning about rare lore of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. Arcana. Recognize magic and history. That's probably the one that appeals the most so far. Soldier, you are trained in battlefield tactics and combat, having served in militia, mercenary company, or officer corps. Show smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield to enhance your prowess, athletics, and intimidation. And then, Urchin. 
After surviving a poor and bleak childhood, you know how to make the most out of very little. Using your street smarts bolsters your spirit for the journey ahead. Sleight of hand and stealth. Uh, mouse, not Nyx. I, I think we gotta go Sage. Just because of Arcana. Recognizing magic and, I mean, I have to imagine there's gonna be, like, magic items and... I don't know, let's just, you know, spitball here. Maybe there's, like, an ancient necromancy tome that'll help us out. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I can't help but feel like I need that in my life. Okay. So I know wizards are mostly intelligence. Mm. Let's see. Charisma, strength, minus one to strength checks. Oh boy. I'm not a strong lad. I am not a strong lad. I feel like dexterity will be important. Constitution, you know, that's nice to have health. Senses and intuition. Improved spellcasting for clerics, druids, and rangers. Plus two to saving throws. Plus two from proficiency. I feel like I'm pretty happy with where everything is here. Oh, I can't have both on one. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm actually pretty happy with this layout. This is actually uh, pretty solid. That's true. I never met a stupid wizard. Yeah, it'd be kind of counterproductive, right? I beat Dragon Age Inquisition about a week ago. Played all three Dragon Age games and had a blast. Hell yeah, dude. That's good stuff. That's good stuff, man. Are you even a lad? I've not customized my character yet. Like, my appearance yet. I've just been focusing on the rest of the stuff. For now. Prepare spells. You can only cast from a limited selection of spells at a time. Which Select which spells you have prepared from the total list of spells. Spells must be prepared outside of combat. Yes. Um... Yeah, let's go with this. So, you know, if I need more health, we have false life, and then we have a whole bunch of damaging spells. I can't imagine that I'm going to really need mage armor or sleep this early on, but those will be good to have on standby. Now let's edit our appearance. Let's edit our appearance. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Be wary. There's more of those wretched things. I think we go seven. All right, seven it is. Seven it is. Okay, blush tone. I mean, we'll just leave that as it is for now. Scarring. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that's great. Let's go with it. Slight freckleization. Oh my god, Vitiligo. Nice. I didn't realize this was going to be an option. That's kind of cool. Um, need to make myself super pale. Super pale. All right. Uh, hair. We need... We need... That's a male. I mean, we're just getting started with the character creator, Roy. I literally just clicked on it, buddy. Uh, let's see. Look at all this hairstyle, dude. Look at all this hairstyle. I was hoping there would be like a, like a skullet bald on top, but mullet in the back. You know what I mean? Yes, I get that polygamist, but you get additional stuff at different points in the game to, you know, 
So it's really not that big of a deal, man. I'm not, listen, I am not a meta gamer. I'm not looking to min max everything. I'm just here for the experience of the game. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be the, like, to have this be the best playthrough that's ever existed of the game. We're not meta gaming. Just looking to have fun. Ah, oh, man, there is no skullet, no mullet type thing going on here. that stuff to be stark white so white it's blue there we go uh what hairstyle do i want dude i mean i guess this could fit now if there wasn't braids there i'm not a fan of the braids i have to imagine that uh different races will get different styles a little bit too right i have to imagine Hmm. No. Fun in the game with RNG dice roll? You would be surprised at the amount of games that have RNG dice rolls. They just don't show it on the forefront. It happens pretty often, actually. It's just not shown, you know, in, in you know, plain sight. Including FPS games. It does happen. It's true. You just don't realize it. Heard Korhawk bells in the background. Very well may have. Very well may have. Okay. Uh, that's hair. Oh my god. I have tentacles coming out of my eyes. No review copy for me? No, this is, uh, this, the, the copy of this game was given to me by Larian Studios, actually. Shout out to them for being so kind and sending me a, a key for the game. No. No. Mad, they give the $2, dude. There had better not be any fun or else. Oh my god, dude. No fun or else. Matt, thank you for the two. And Janet with the two as well. Fun is allowed? Are we are we an anti-fun stream? What do you guys think? Octopus tentacles coming out of my eyes or what? I feel like that's more eldritch than necromantic though, right? This could work. This could work. Oh my god. Oh my god. By the river. By the river. Nice teal markings all over my face. Turn down the intensity a little bit here. Hmm. I try to go like a like a like a blood red like a blood red there we go like a dried blood bunch of dried blood markings all over my face do, do, do. hold on what was that midnight tears dark moons red scintilla minotaur ring easy breezy Let's see. <laughs> Lapis Stud Muffin. Damn. That should be the name of my character. Lapis Stud Muffin? Alright, I feel like Midnight Tears is it. And then Eyes. Elf Green. Hold on, what was that option back there? Whoop. Wrong button. Eyes. Oh, heterochromia. Nice. You can actually make the eyes different colors. That's cool. I think we want that, like, frosty blue, right? A nice frosty blue. 
that piercing blue. Wait. Oh my god. This certainly does expand. Oh god. That's cool. What do you guys think? That right there? Flame blue one? Demonic blue one or two? I feel like demonic blue one is it. I think that's it, dude. Look at that. Got cone of cold coming out of my eyeballs here. And then... All this. What does this actually change? I don't think that's actually changing anything. Okay. gotta be pale man necromancers are always pale right vampire tone oh there we go oh, oh, oh yes yes dude i think this is it guys i think that's it Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Uh, custom origin. Let me see. Let me... Oh, yeah, I think if we click any of these, it'll actually change up, like, all that stuff, I see. All right, so we're a high elf. High elf wizard going, leaning heavily into necromancy. We do have bone chill cantrip. I also have um, some other cantrips here. Poison spray, ray of frost, and mage hand. These are my spells, Mage Armor, False Life, Ice Knife, Ray of Sickness, Sleep, and Magic Missile. My background is Sage for the sake of Arcana and History. And these are my ability points, right? These are my ability points. You can't go any lower than eight. Let me go ahead and just... Oh, I can't go any higher than 17 Intelligence right out the gate? Okay. All right, dude. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's proceed, dude. Is the game out? Yes, it just released today. Hold on. Body types. I just realized body types are a thing. Oh, did I just reset my entire appearance? Okay, hold on. I got to fix that. Hold on. I can speed run this. Don't worry. Don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip. I can speed run this. We had voice seven. I didn't realize there was body types. I just realized. You want this in red. Oh, intensity was all the way up. Piercing style was midnight tears. The eyes were demonic blue. Makeup. Oh my god, dude, I didn't really have makeup on, so let's just leave it at that. Uh, the hair. What was the hair? We had... Where is it? Where was the hair? I don't like the body type kind of messed that up. Changing that on me. Where was the other... Flippy, flip over hair thing? Where is it? Where is it? I'm a speedrunner now? Yeah, character creator speedrunner. Okay, white five. So white it's nearly blue. Uh, gray whites. I guess we don't really need to worry about that too much. Um, what else did I have going on here? That's it, right?
Yeah, darken the outside of the eyes a little bit. Lip tint, we don't need any. I'll just leave it as it is. There we go. Good stuff. That's it. That's our character. We're done. Oh, make myself paler. True. Good call. Where was it? Vampire... I mean, oh my god, there's Ice Tone. What do you guys think? Ice Tone? Ice Tone might be better. Yeah, I think Ice Tone is even better, dude. Yeah, we're going with that. Alright, confirm. That's our character. We're good to go. Proceed! Alright, so we are a male high elf wizard going for necromancy stuff. What's our name going to be? I forgot, guys. We need a name. We need a name. Uh, Jush. Um, I don't know. We got... Joshin. We got Joshu. We got um Joshrick. <laughs> Senip is big. Joshrick. Uh Nate's <laughs> Lapis Stud Muffin. <laughs> Tube Steak the Great. Nice, dude. Uh, God, I don't know, guys. Ice Daddy. Josh Rick, you like Josh Rick? Josh Lee McJoshingham. Juice Muffin. I, I wouldn't be able to take myself seriously if it was Juice Muffin. Juicifer. Juicy Birth. Ice Ice Baby. Elden Lord. <laughs> Pendarvis. Joshter the Joshter the Third. Josh Joshrick is cool too. I'm going. I'm going Joshrick. What a ridiculous thing. Oh, I can choose a guardian. That's sick. Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> we have to make a guardian too. Um. Hmm. What do you guys think here? We got Drow, Tiefling, Human, Githyanki, Dwarf, Elf, High Elf, Halfling, Gnome, Half-Orc. I'm going to go with Tiefling. Asmodeus, bound to Nessus, the deepest layer of the hells, these tieflings inherit the ability to wield fire and darkness from the archdevil Asmodeus infernal bloodline. Mephistopheles, descended from the archdevil Mephistopheles, these tieflings are gifted with a particular affinity for arcane magic. And Zariel tiefling, tieflings from Zariel's bloodline are empowered with martial strength and can channel searing flame to punish their enemies. Um... Hmm. Maybe, maybe I don't want Tiefling. Maybe I, I feel like I want to make something that can like be a little like that can like help, like help me tank things. Maybe we oh dude we're we're gonna get an orc friend. We can do half orc friend. Let's make a half orc friend, guys. Remarkable. Follow your instincts. Okay. Don't be afraid. Okay, dude. All right, dude. Hmm. 
Right there. Right there, dude. No scarring. A little bit of maturity, some freckles. Why not? Why not some freckles, dude? Why not? You love her? She's pretty great. Birds. There you go. It's nice. Uh, tattoo color is black. Piercing style. Lapis stud muffin, anyone? Lapis stud muffin? I think Dark Moons is pretty necessary here. Uh, eyes. Let's just go with nice blue eyes here. Uh, I need to... Hair. <laughs> I love it, dude. Do they have the Padme? Do they have the Padme haircut? I mean, I feel like some some dreads or cornrows are pretty appropriate. Oh, there you go. Right there. Yes. I love this. Uh, what color hair, though? What color hair, guys? You want to stick with the red? Are we thinking red here? Or do we want, like... Eh, not green. Bum, bum, bum. Xbox with the wrong decision. Can't play this anytime soon. Can't play Final Fantasy. I mean, you also get Game Pass, though, which is great by itself. Confirm. Highlights. Confirm. Graying? None. We dye our hair around here. No such thing as gray. No such thing as gray hair. Guys, I'm not, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I am not really um, good uh, when it comes to makeup. So I really don't know what I'm doing here in this regard. What, what color should this be? Do we match the hair? Do we go something completely crazy? I just don't really know. Internet blipped. What happened to the elf? Uh, this is my companion, my guardian. The elf is already set. We go with a dark color here. Just, just straight up black. No, this is my guardian, as you can see in the top left. This is a guardian. How about this one right here? Kunzites? Kunzites? Ruby? Hot chocolates? Red four? That's the same as uh, the hair. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's fine. It, it, it's good. Lip tint? All right, we actually have to... Now, what color lipstick here? Do we go metallic? Do we go glossy? What do you guys think? No makeup for the orc? Hey, listen, man. Listen, dude. An edgy purple? Glossy purple? You think that's good?
or orc. If you've never seen an orc in makeup, then you haven't played enough RPGs. A soft red like her hair. So like this? That good? No work I know would wear makeup. Again, play more RPGs, dude. <laughs> and play more RPGs, I promise you. It's a lot more common than you think. A darker red. So like that? I don't know. I don't think I like the darker red too much. Yeah, I think, I, I think this is good. I'm going with this. I'm going with my heart on this one. <laughs> Um, we don't get to choose any skills or anything, though, it looks like. Yep, okay. Venture forth. Here we go. Just spent 40 minutes in a character creator. Hey, Josh, don't want to spoil, so not watching this playthrough, but I sent like on stream, bidding your elder doing playthroughs in the meantime. Sark, I uh, I do want to share this information with you. There are so many choices and so many different things that you can do in a playthrough that your playthrough will likely not be anything like mine. So as far as spoilers go, I think they're going to be a lot less realistic than you think. But all the same, you do you, man. something to keep in mind is there's going to be you know specific like main endings but there's going to be a total of 17,000 different branch endings total keep that in mind This is the cutscene that I'm pretty sure we've all seen already. This was uh this is the the first I saw of Baldur's Gate 3 at all. I think this was their like part of their reveal trailer. I am a wizard, Lucian. Drax, thank you for seven months of membership, buddy. I appreciate it. Let's hype for this. Let's go. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Game audio's a bit low. How's that? How's this for you?
It seems that no one likes the Mind Flayers, huh, guys? Any Mind Flayer sympathizers in the chat? Hey, look, it's me. As a mind flayer, I find this very offensive. <laughs> My head. My head. Okay. Um, this mind flayer looks to be a bit toast. Yeah, it's dead. Look at that guy. It's a pearl. Take all. Good. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. How's the volume, guys? Investigate the pool. All right, skill checks, general tutorial. Some dialogue options require a skill check, a dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this roll. It's middle, it's a bit low. Volume's good for me, still a bit low. Okay, I'll turn it up a skosh again. There we go. Okay, so I get plus three intelligence and then plus two investigation proficiency. Look at a total plus five here. We just have to make a ten. Okay, we did it. Success. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Reach toward the pool. Come on, bro. Come on. Well, I took some damage. I took three damage there. Restoration pods. You can use a restoration pod to fully recover. Okay. Oh, Tasty. I feel better. Uh, mind flare pod. Someone else got out. Oh, they're already out. Okay. Does anyone have... Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Okay, it looks like everyone's already out then. Is there anything else in here? I mean, we looted this dead guy. I guess we go towards this wall sphincter. Nice. <laughs> it's literally called sphincter. Nice, dude. What happens if you die? It's game over. But of course, you can load up your last saves and whatnot. Hey, goblin. I'm taking your stuff. Okay, double click to take. Here. Brain jar, neural apparatus. Let me investigate this brain jar. What's in the brain jar, dude? I can't take anything here, can I? Oh, there we go. Rune slates. Let me take this. Attack that. No, take it. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Oh. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Release I feel like the narrator is so quiet, yeah? I mean, the music is down a little bit. But that's, you know, the music was pretty loud on startup. Viscous chair? We pop a squad. Caustic brine. Sounds delicious. Mirnath. Hello? What's going on, Persephone? How you doing? What's up, Cassandra? Welcome back. I am very excited for this. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Oh. Please. Before they return. They return. 
Hey, Captain, they give the 50 Danish. A female mind flayer in the other room have 100% control of me. Please help. By the way, dang, 47 this weekend. Happy birthday this weekend, man. 47, that's dope. Um, you sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Am I talking to a man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. <laughs> um. Inspect the exposed brain. Nice. is a demon, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Okay, we can strength, break it, dexterity, gently prize the brain from the skull, or medicine, attempt a cerebral extraction, staying mindful of the swelling. Four is destroy the brain, and five is leave. I'm going three. <laughs> we have advantage on this. We have advantage. But we didn't make it. We failed. Oh no, dude. Oh. That didn't go well. The swelling is too great. You cannot lift the brain out of the skull. Destroy the brain? Okay, I don't know why my character would use its hands to destroy the brain. <laughs> when we have a staff, we have a quarter staff on our back. Just, just mash it with that, dude. What are you doing? Like so. Oh, I got hit by the caustic brine. That's not good. Yeah, let me figure that stuff out, Calrid. Oh. Well, this seems great. Maybe I should get involved. She was the one that got the worm in the eye before I did. What's up, Dracula? Hey, Andre. What's up, Butterball? Who are you? What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. True. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. Hey, Tiger Cloud. Returning the mind flayers, there must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, What's up, Tag? Address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Ooh. 
Mmm, tasty. No, it's a learning moment, Calrid. <laughs> Again, let me just figure it out, man. You're ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds, and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Okay. We have one, two, three imps. Okay. We have control of... What's her name? Lazelle? You go this way. You just go smack that imp. Good job, dude. When you're finished, click the button in the right corner of your hotbar to end your turn or space. You can move up a little bit more here. Another fight. Let's then... Go. Hold on, is that the right one? Yeah, it's my cantrip. I missed. Sad. I'm sad. I'm gonna go this way. I'll catch a break. Let's see what we got here. Mage hands from Psionics. Second wind gives you some healing. All right, just do a basic attack here. Man, she's getting uh, all the kills here. I'm just gonna put her right in its face. Still my feet. We'll move Don't over here. Down. Hopefully this bone chill will hit this time. Jeez. Yeah, dude, get, get bone chilled. Absolutely bone shield for one damage. All right, swing. <laughs> she got, she did all the damage. This is not boding well for my wizard already. All right, we did that. Let me do a quick save. A post-combat quick save is always good. If you are playing on PC, by the way, which and you know everyone playing you know, playing the game is going to be on PC for the until next month. Um, F5 is quick save. I have it set to one of my mouse buttons myself right now, though. Potion of healing, short sword, and simple robe. Go to the helm. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. Uh, you. Ungroup? No. How do we... Inventory. Equipment? Yes. What do you have on for sword? 4 to 13 damage. Okay. You have a short bow, half plate boots, underwear, boots, and clothes. Okay. Wanted to see. Now we can go up there, but let's see. There's some stuff over here. Oh, we can actually loot these imps. I'm taking that. We gotta loot everything, man. Also, I just realized I'm controlling the wrong character, but it's fine. Push her overboard? No, man, she's helping me. What's performance like? I mean, I'm playing 1440p, everything's set all the way to max, and it's running beautifully. You can see my uh, frames per second in green in the top right corner. All right, we have some cultists here. Mind Flayer Pod. What's this button do? What are these sigils? Okay, true. But what if I pushed it? Oh. oh! That's messed up, dude. Taking position. 
Hey, good job. Well done. This is worth the cost. I don't know if I want to use any of these overly powerful spells on this guy. This is a cantrip. Let's blast him with the cold. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Nice miss, dude. Um. Damn it! You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Um. Look for a latch that might open the lid or wizard arcana. There's magic at work here. Determine what kind. Okay. All right. We're rolling. Easy. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing Hey, what's up, Storm? Near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Matt, thank you for the $2. I vote you max level brain squeeze attacks. You know what? It, they seem to be pretty damn effective. I should do that, shouldn't I? The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? You are a stranger as well, dude. I'll look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. Yeah. They did something to it. They Thank you, Matt. Hurry! Please! Just remind you all, Browns versus Jets is on tonight at 8 p.m. Yeah, sounds, sounds great, dude. Wow. Wow. The console appears dormant. Wizard, inscribe the device with the glyphs you sense from the pod's warding runes. The console hums to life. Arcana, take a closer look at the powered up console. Okay, we got our bonuses in play. Good stuff. his hand on the console. <laughs> Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. The lifted wisdom will open the pod. Will the pod to open? Oh, it's only... Uh, dude, I swear to God, if I roll a one... I swear to God. <laughs> so close, dude. Oh no. Feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. So, do you want to, like, join the party, or...? I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. you feel that just now? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right. Let's get going. I'm Josh Rick. Shadowheart. One moment. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. All right, cool. 
Well, we got a third party member, guys. That's pretty tight. Um, they're empty. What is all this, though? Look at all this, dude. Dark mind, elaborate reliquary, burnished necklace. Any thieves' tools to pick a lock or you can find its key. Brain in a jar. Yep, we'll take that. Also take the manuscripts. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a good Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. What is... That's, that's a walking brain. Um, right. I just witnessed things. Yo, Dominic Ellett, they give the 10 pounds. Hey, Josh, just dropping this, dropping on to save and loving watching back the remnant streams. There it goes again. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. And they've been so fun. Missed the beginning of this, but we'll catch up. Enjoy Baldur's Gate through. Yo, Dominic. Dominic, thank you very much for the kindness, dude. Oh, key. And a scimitar. I'm taking these, and we're going back. Dominic, thank you for the 10 bones, man. And hope you enjoy uh, enjoy the remnant stuff and the Baldur's Gate 3 stuff. Thank you very much. For items such as keys, ingredients, and camp supplies are sorted. Okay. We have onyx and gold. There we go. We used our key. What's up, May? How you doing? What's with these brains? We are, one. are we though? Skrull. How many hosts of these gay infected? This woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. She doesn't notice us, and we can't do anything to help her, can we? Unless we push that button right there. Maybe this button will do it. Perfect. Place your hand on the console. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh, geez, May. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh! That's a mind flayer now. Cane jar. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Um. Preserve me. That cannot be. Whoops. Everyone say hello to the newest Mind Flayer, I guess. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Potion of Healing. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. I don't know what these slave mines do, but I'm pocketing that. Um, hmm. So can we open this now? Can we... The newborn Mind Flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Can I push the button again? It's already finished. Oh. I was wondering if I could push it again and like turn it back or something, you know? That'd be tight. Well, I don't see anywhere else in here that I can go. So I guess we go find a different path this way. Which looks like there's one right here. Good stuff. It's a cute Pokemon. <laughs> Brain at you, dude. His name is Brain at you. Brain man Mander. Brainosaur. Hold on. Let me get you. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kanyak. You. Action. Restoration. Action. All right, good stuff. We do some quick saving. What the hell? Do it. 
We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Okay. And we have Hellbores, we have Imps. I guess we're on the team of the Mind Flayer until we escape, and then there's Commander Zalk. Oh god. Oh god. I'll tell you what, we're just going to, um... I want to try Magic Missile out. I'm going to try Magic Missile on this guy. <laughs> it might be a waste, but I'm doing it. Hold on. Wait, hold on. How much damage does it do? How do I, how do I go back? Uh, what was it? Was it three die five? Or I'm sorry, five? I can't remember. It doesn't let me... Oh, I can cancel right there. Yeah, three die four. Three die four plus three. With a max of 15, two to five damage per shot. Torment. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous right there. Things we love to see. Oh, let's get you just right up in that thing's face. Mind Blast. And you know, that's not very nice. Um, let's get you up here. You have Fire Bolts. You have Healing Word, Shield of Faith, Guiding Bolts, Inflict Wounds. Oh, dude, that's great. Guidance, Resistance, Sacred Flame, Blessing of the Trickster. That's Radiant Damage. That's cool. Alright, let's just firebolt this guy right here. Beautiful. Get bone chilled, idiot. Right, so what we're looking to do now is just get to the other side and activate this thing. Where is it? This thing all the way up here. Thirteen turns remaining to make it over there. We got this. Don't want to walk too closely to that guy. Don't want to walk too closely. That confused me. That perspective is a little odd. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My mistake. I hit space way too soon. Hurry before they strike. Yep, we gotta go. Oh, hold on. There's more enemies up here. We have two imps and a lesser hellbore. This guy's got Commander Zalk all tied up. That's fine by me. You. Let's see. Let's do something big here. Let's go ahead and just use Guiding Bolts on... Uh, on you. All the way back there. Overkill. Surely. But it's fine. Now, can I reach you all the way over there? I want to hit you with the Ray of Sickness. Nice. We like that. Blocked, idiot. What does Pommel Strike do? Oh, it has a chance to uh, daze them for two turns. I'm going to hamstring this guy. 
point blank hamstring. And then pommel strike. Oh, it was a one. Oh, we can actually loot it while it's down. Very interesting. What's going on, Dustin? Let's just bop ya. Very good. Um, yeah, okay. Can't even catch my breath. Oh, hold on. We're still we're still on turn-based stuff here. We're looting mid-combat, apparently. I forgot about this guy somehow. Oh shit. Oh boy. Um you actually killed him? You killed a mind flayer? Good job, man. I'm gonna go. Have poison ray though. Oh, wow, I have to be a lot closer for that. Okay, never mind. Have Ray of Frost. I missed, so... You know, I'm living my worst life right now. Make way. Keep running! Keep running! I think I'm about to take a hit. Oh, my God! Wait, there's more? Yeah, these guys are a little bit tough for me. I'm down. If a member of your adventuring party reaches zero hit points, they are downed. This is a state between life and death where they roll each they roll each turn to survive. On a, three successful rolls, they become stable. On three failures, they die. Just push the button. Just get me out of here. Fuck the cord, man. Okay, what's up, Mord? I'm playing on normal difficulty. There is um, there is easy, normal, and hard. I'm playing on normal. There are difficulty settings. Yeah, Squidward was pretty upset. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Where did I land? The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. 
You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Right. Now right, we got us uh, a nice quick save there. All right, let's press J to view our journal. We need to find a cure first and foremost. That's what we got to do right there. All right, where are we? We're no longer with our friends that were with us in combat, apparently. Mangled Fisher. That can't be good. I'm taking your money, though. Oh, there's Shadowheart. Hey. Wake her. I should have reached for the artifact, to be honest. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Yeah, Alter Lemming, I played the uh, all the previous Baldur's Gate stuff, but very long time ago. Very, very long time ago. Um, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. I took right around 35 to 40 minutes, Shinobi, to make my character and my guardian. Any idea where we are? What happened to our gift friend, actually? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Right. I better get moving then. Farewell. No, let's uh, stay together. Yeah. Yeah, one. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. We'll be here, Black Crystal. All right, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. I'll be honest Lead with you. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I, um, I'm not looking to be like a goody two shoes on this playthrough. Uh, but what I am trying to do is just form a party. So that way I don't die being solo. You know what I mean? So, you know, there, there's a, there's a, a little bit of a catch here. I did it to benefit myself. Yep, uh, this, is how, this is how I'm making this stuff appear, by the way. Left alt. Left alt will make everything appear that you can interact with. Potion of healing, nice. Yeah, we got to make a party before chaos. Yeah, dude. All right, there's all sorts of stuff out here. Let's go over this way. We got some Murgrass, apparently. Murgrass. Intellect Devourer. What the heck's a Murgrass? First impression of the game so far? I'm loving it already, man. It's got the good turn-based action. Uh, the character creator is fantastic, and the story kind of just gets you going right away. It's nice. Even for a, uh, you know, something that's going to be like a, a deeper RPG, they kind of get you into the action right away, you know? It's nice. Double click a book to read it. Sai, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so is staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Bucket of fish. Yeah, I'm taking these fish. These are mine now. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Shanties for the bitch queen. And we all row with the spray upon our necks, and we all row with the spray upon our backs. We all row with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. 
Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, wave. We ask to sail your skirt, if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother, our skulls are yours, with brine and sand to fill. Souls away and anchor still. The wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll glad we will. Blah, blah. We'll wait gladly years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. Dude, nice song, man. Number one hit. Nice song, dude. Hey, more. Thank you for 17 months of membership. I'm so excited for this game. I'm very happy you seem to be enjoying it. It's been a long time since I played a CRPG, man. It's been a long time. The last one I played was Divinity Original Sin 2 uh, when it came out, whenever that was. It's been a long time. So I'm very excited to be here for this. A loot! Alchemy. You can craft your own potions, poisons, and elixirs using alchemy. Gather ingredients to distill into extracts and experiment to brew wondrous solutions. Discover the waypoints. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We know how to use a map. Okay, there's our waypoint. Jesus. All right. Some belladonna. There's also some stuff over here I noticed earlier. Thank you again, Mord. 10 out of 10, Shanty. I agree. More of the wretched things. Oh. It looks like we can go this way, but before we do, can I... Can I open this door somehow? I'd really like it if we befriended some crabs. You talking about the head crabs there? Yeah, that's locked. Okay. All right. Maybe there's another entrance. All right. Since it looks like there's going to be some combat soon, let's make a uh, quick save. But also, guys, I'm going to take a really fast break. I have to pee so bad. So I'm going to do that really quick. Also, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The, the turnout for today's stream is much higher than I was expecting. And it's great to have you guys here for it. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for pressing the like button as well. It really helps out my channel immensely. And I'll see you in just a moment. All right, we're back, dudes. We're back. Let's go ahead and see what's over here, yeah? Let's go. Agamemnon, thank you for the $5. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more Josh feed. I've got more of me right here for you, bud. I got more of me right here, bud. Thank you, Agamemnon. I appreciate it. Oh, we got to fight these guys. Look at them dash. 
Oh, it looks like there's at least three of them. All right. They're all dashing madly at me. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short fight. Vicious filth. Uh, let's see. Well. I think I want to say that. Three die ten, that's a big hit. Inflict wounds, dude. That's great. That's great. Alright, we're getting the sacred flame. Oh, nice, dude. One damage. Tight. Tight, tight, tight. Let's go right here. You have nine health. How much health do you have? Twelve? Target's too close. All right, let's just... Wrecked. Oh, we leveled up, guys. Big... All right, now that we did that, we're going to fall behind her. She's going to be our tank. Oh, I forgot about opportunity attacks. Oh, no, dude. I forgot. Um, hey. Let me help you out, dude. We have one HP. Sick. Uh, healing. Cool. I forgot about attacks of opportunity, so that sucks. Why can I not do anything? We can shove, we can dip. Dip a weapon into the surface to alter the surface or enhance the weapon. If you are dual wielding, you can dip both weapons. Okay. Well, I got nothing to dip it into right now, so... Um, hmm. Well, let's just hope that she can, you know, tank that. No, you evil little shit. You evil, evil little men. All right, nine and 12. Okay, she has two health. This is bad. This is really bad, guys. Not good. go and then um let's hope we get a perfect 10 here never mind they're too close let me okay how do i cancel this okay i can just do that i guess okay it's not showing the little x there it's a little awkward let me go over here Attack. I forgot about attack of opportunity twice, dude. Okay. Hey, guys, just pretend that didn't happen, okay? Very good. Very good. Look at that. Guys, listen. Nothing happened. You've not seen any combat in this area yet, okay? It's sick. We're just getting started on the combat, okay? <laughs> oh, no, dude. If not over, I'm through. That's not good. You died? No, I didn't. Shh. You saw nothing. Look at the little mad dash that they do. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. One strike could be lethal. Oh, dude. What? Okay, hold on. I'm I'm reloading. I didn't realize that it was even in combat range. It didn't actually attack me. I thought it had to like initiate combat in order to be able to get an attack of opportunity. What the? What the? Thing just gave me the kick. Never wanted the easy path. Hey, uh, get up there, yeah? 
No. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Oh, I get initiative this time? Oh, baby. I'll tell you what, I'm getting up here. And then we're going to wait, I think. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the high ground will give me, like, the, uh, you know, the advantage. Maybe. 12, 10, 9... Just gonna eliminate one outright. This is a bonus action thing, so let me just. Nope, nope. Go right there and then wait. You! You down there! You're gonna get blasted. Are you ready? Fifty-five percent. Okay, we're gonna do that. Save failed. Get wrecked, dude. We're gonna stay right here. Two damage. Sick. Good job. And then, how much health do you have? Seven. Too close? Sad. Okay, end of the day, your punishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to restore hit points and other resources. Open rest menu, initiate long rest, and then level up. Go to level up screen. Is that blood? Is that blood? No, never mind. Party view, level up. Level two. Um, chosen subclass necromancy. Yes. Grim harvest once per turn. If you kill a creature with a spell, you regain hit points equal to twice the spell slot level used. Thrice if it's a necromancy spell. Undead and constructs are unaffected. Learning necromancy spells from scrolls only costs you 25 gold per spell level, not 50. Nice. Nice. Two spell slots as well? Okay. What's up, Reese? Gain dash immediately and as a bonus action each of your turns until the spell ends. Familiar, Thunder Wave, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. Shield might be nice. Movement speed by three meters. Enhanced leap, grease, fog cloud, witch bolts. Link yourself to a target with a bolt of lightning, dealing an additional 1 to 12 lightning damage each turn by activating it. Hmm. Burning Hands is a pretty heavy hitter. Let's throw that on there, and then we'll take some something else. Hmm. Do we want Expeditious Retreat or Long Strider? Let's go Expeditious Retreat. And then Shadow Hearts. Turn undead, nice. Invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Within three meters of the illusion, attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Nice. Spell slots. Channel divinity charges one. You gain the ability to channel divine energy starting with two effects. Turn undead and an effect determined by your domain. Replenished by short or long rest. From 10 to 17 health already? Damn. Uh... 
All right. Well, that's that then. Let's loot these brains. Intellect devours a cere cerebellum. I'll take it. Um, hopefully the fire doesn't burn me. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, it burned me. Son of a bitch. Damn it, man. Okay. Um, we're still on fire, apparently. How do I stop that? Long rest, go. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Okay. Very good. Um, how does one heal? Let's go speak with Shadowheart, I guess. Hey. You strike me as the reliable sort, but are you sure this is a good idea? Do, do, do. Don't fret, we need some rest. Fine, but not for too long. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. All right. Our top priority, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky, dude. Face protects me. Take I healed me. I used you to heal me. Right, let's go back to you. Um, is there any other way to heal? I mean, let's open up this wooden trunk stuff and see what goes on here. Nothing. Stack of books. Just curious if there's anything here. Just, just learning. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. I'll take those. Storage box. Okay, it looks like nothing else has anything going on. Let's go to bed. Use the required amount of camp supplies to fully rest. Okay. Covering all your hit points, spell slots, and short rests. Not using enough camp supplies to rest will only partially recover your stuff. Okay, so we, need we have zero out of 40 here. We have, we have this right here. I don't know if I want to burn that right away, though. Haggis, dude. Oh, we have another one of those. Need four more. Trying to get this spot on. I don't think it's going to work so well. Can I just... Yeah, let's just split that. There you go. There you go. Falling into your trance should have been as easy as breathing. Yet peace eludes you. You picture the Feywild in its colorful glory. The joy of all seasons flourishing at once. Fire spills across your thoughts. Dragon's breath. The tadpole slithers, twisting deeper into your skull. Your head is about to burst. The memory consumes your mind, corrupting the trance. Ouch, dude. Now, let's see. Elf wisdom, you have walked your dreams countless times before. Will this memory to pass or refuse to break? Anything can be endured in the trance. Uh, my constitution is higher than my wisdom, right? Nice, dude. Oh, yeah. Someone right all over my face? Yeah, that was my bad. The flames fall away, a mere illusion. You are one with the Feywild again, a gleam in revelry. 
As the trance stabilizes, your breath deepens. Be it cure or cage, something must be done about the tadpole. Every night that passes is another night the monster inside you grows. <laughs> Dude, that that is that is one sick emo lyric. Every night that passes and <laughs> there's more time for the monster inside to grow. <laughs> That's pretty emo, bud. Uh, okay, there's a mugwort over here now. Why? Anything else around that I can interact with? Nothing shows up in yellow, so... Or, you know, white or yellow. Yeah, I enjoy the narration. Uh, Traveler's Chest. Oh. Oh. What the? Oh, hey, uh, this is from the Twitch drop. <laughs> I opened up some Twitch streams and then just kind of like I opened up. I, I just lurked like I just opened it up and then muted it and then like minimized the window. So I like wouldn't see anything. <laughs> what is this stuff at? Mask of the Shapeshifter. Is this um pre-order stuff? Oh, look at that. Look at that, dude. What's up, Mel? How you doing today? Drake General Die. Combine this die with equipment item to alter the colors of fabric. Okay. Peculiar clothing chest. We have Cape of the Red Prince, Loot of the Merryweather Bard, Bicorn of the Sea Beast, and Needle of the Outlaw Rogue. Okay. I could just put stuff back in there too. Interesting. Do, do, do. Let's put all. Hold on. What are the stats on this? Anything? Oh no, these go over here. I guess we'll put them on. Though I can't actually do anything with them. Oh, yeah, look at me. Oh, yeah. Good stuff there. Map the Sword Coast sprawls from the deep forest of Tethir, Tethir to the frigid spine of the world. Its topography worn by ancient ink and the constant trade between mortal hands. Hey, that's... Just look and see if there's anything cool here. I use a crossbow? No? Oh, I can. I, I can't remember my weapon proficiencies. Oh, uh, I'm assuming if I can equip it, I should be able to use it, but, you know. Alright. I think we're good here. Leave camp. Leave camp, dude. Cartilaginous? Is that messing in there, right? Cartilag cartilaginous? Made of cartilage? Dead mind flare up there. What's in those pockets, bud? Spike the bulb and void bulb. All right. Hey, Raph, how have you been, dude? I feel like it's been a long time. What's up? Drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned and fall asleep. Hmm. Nice. Potion of speed, skull, and void bulb. your spells are they not automatically prepared 
I mean, it doesn't look like I can't use them. How similar is this game to Diablo? Not at all. Thieves tools? Hell yeah. Nothing happened here. Nope. Nothing. Uh, that's locked. I did just get thieves tools. Based on a sleight of hand check, tools break on unsuccessful attempts. Uh, sleight of hand check. Is that dexterity? I'm not... Oh, there it is. Okay, so we click on it and then we can add bonus. Guidance, divination, cantrip. Okay. Thieves tools. Can I... Can I remove this? Somehow? Or, no, no, I think I'm forced to use it because it's like, it's what allows me to lock the pick. Or pick the lock, rather. <laughs> well, we killed that one. Wow, 15 gold and a leather helmet, guys. Do you think it was worth? Of course it was. Of course it was, dude. Asterian, okay. Hold on, is there anything up this way first? No, it appears not. Okay, so we're finding a random guy, and I don't know if I should trust him. Let me quick save. Hey, dude. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. <laughs> that mask, grass, dude. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. Okay. Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Hey! What the heck? Um... Quickly roll away. We gotta get a 10, we get plus one, and then one die four with guidance. Ooh. Okay, we're out of there. Who the hell are you, man? Who's trying to shank I saw me? You on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. And what did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw. So ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Have a good night, Lilora. Apologies. Okay. You better have more to offer than apologies. You tried to stab me, man. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Astarian. You're a Baldar Baldarian too. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... Ha! <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? 
Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Mm hmm. Control it? We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Hey, Bill, thanks for being here, man. Uh, travel with me. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. I'm assuming this guy is a rogue. Yep. He sure is a rogue. Um. Don't touch me. How do I? Let's level you up. Rogue level two. Cunning action hide, dash, and disengage. Oh, nice. That won't uh, provoke opportunity attacks. Neat. Add class. Multi-classing. This advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of a higher level class features. You can only level one classes at a time. Okay. Well, we don't want to... Uh... We don't want to do that right now. Okay. Going with the herd, he called you a herd? Well, you know, I've been called worse things. I've been called worse. Hey, folks, do me a favor. I appreciate all the likes on the video, but it would be really cool if we could make our way upwards of 400 today, considering there's over 400 people here. There, a mind flayer. If you haven't hit the like button, yeah, it would mean a lot if you would. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. Mind flayer. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. All right. Compassion. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. <laughs> it's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Right. Intelligence, concentrate on its thoughts. Gotta get a 10. We get plus three from an intelligence naturally. Hopefully we can do this. God damn it. Critical failure, dude. Critical failure! You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Uh, OxTT, Jen did answer your question. Um, if you played early access, then your best bet is to reinstall the game because early access stuff does not transfer to the full release there's some limitation there for whatever reason uh you have to restart from the beginning so you need to uninstall the game reinstall it and then you need to make a, uh, a new a new save essentially or you know remove all of your previous saves and start over uh close those eyes forever or leave it to die slowly close those eyes forever Stomp. Monster. Death is too good for it. Okay. Well, I took care of that guy. We can go that way or we can go this way. Let's go this way. There's a dead goblin over here. Yeah, early access was so limiting compared to the full release anyway, it's worth starting over. There's a lot more going on now. Goblin Cinematar and a bone. Supply pack and goblin bow. What's going on with that blue? 
approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Yes, this game will be on PS5 on September 6th. I'm touching the sigil, dude. I'm touching it. Ow, I burned my fingers. It's an RPG, John. A hand? Anyone? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Whisper to the weave roiling within the sigil. Attempt to calm it down. Okay. I, I think if I fail this, I might chop this guy's arm off. This might not be great. Okay, we owned it. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Um... Hey, dude. Oh. What's Hello. up, Simba? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Um. And not wasting the time of passing adventurers? I certainly hope so. Apologies. I didn't exactly memorize my cephalopodian banishment spells last night. Wasn't the best prepared for an attack by squid. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. Can you save scum the dice rolls? Yeah, there's a quick save option and you, you, there's like a quick load option as well. Yeah. I was. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region go on the insertee we speak of this parasite are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers it's a process known as ceramorphosis and let me assure you it is to be avoided you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance do you a doctor surgeon Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. How much for a gaming PC like you have? Uh, Massey, if you type exclamation mark specs, it'll give you a link that'll take you to PC Part Picker and it will tell you the current price of everything involved there. Wizard, these tadpoles are beyond even my arcane knowledge. I cannot remove them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. We're creating parasite a party, guys. Is a parasite halved, or something to that effect. So oh, far, so good, sweet. But before you think up, you're Alvis? about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. How much is this game? I believe 60 USD. All right, we got this guy. Gale, level up. Are you a wizard as well, or what do you have going on? Might be a warlock, or... Evocation. Yeah, I think he's a wizard. Yep. Okay. Um. Focus elemental energy into powerful attacks and enchantments. Those who specialize in the school are known as evokers. I mean. Summon wards, banish enemies, nullify magic, suit with those who wish to defend themselves and others. Do do conviction of those around you. Yes, yes. I don't know what I want to go here.
Yeah, I'll just go evocation here. Very good. Do 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 magic missile and chromatic orb. Orb. All right, I'm thinking Asterion is a rogue. He is indeed a rogue, yeah. Looking ahead. All right, so now we can travel to that. Have to keep going. All right, reminder, guys, we did find some goblin bodies not too far back, so, you know, that's a thing. Horn net trap. Broken. Must have been there a while. Smashed cage. Another broken trap. Who made these things? Um. Like a little bit of a ruin this way. We could go this way. It looks like there's a lower path as well. To go this way. Yeah. I'm going to go the high ground. I feel like that's the smart choice here. Then again, there's some people over here. Hold on. Quick save. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. One of them can't absorb his whole squad. <gasps> oh, so hey, that's Lazelle. And let the goblins have it? No. We take it. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Um, rather demanding for a woman in your position. Why should I? Don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Or deception. This creature's dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Persuasion, shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. And attack the tieflings. Well, we get plus one for charisma on either of these. I'm going to deceive them. Deception, yes. Yes. Very good. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Persuasion. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? <laughs> Can we deceive them twice? Or, you know, persuade them and deceive them. Yes, we can. I am so charismatic, dude. I am just oozing Riz, dude. Oozing Riz Northwest. out here. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Okay. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. I'm certain I could Observe just attack them, but I won't. You hear goblins before you see them. As you say. Nice, dude. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. A uh, simple thank you wouldn't go amiss, or... All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. 
What exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Oh, we have a party limit. Way to my camp, we can speak there. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this sorrow. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Relax, dude. Relax, okay? All right, um, let's go over here and see what this stuff is about. Well, quick save action. Oh, there's things over here. here. Gimbalbach. And Tamin. Okay. Oh, who are you? Warren. Warren. Um, hmm. Can I just walk up and shove it? <laughs> Can I just walk up and shove her? Shove them off the crate. Not really a stealth option for me here, so maybe Asterion, as he is the rogue. No, there is no, no stealth option here. We have no stealth yet. I'm sad. You're vain. Got company up here. What's this thing? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Oh, is Hyde stealth? Okay. I mean no harm just looking around or that ship is full of monsters that wouldn't go near it. Deception, I think the ship's an invasion force. Run while you can. And intimidation, just grin, bearing your fangs. Advantage, reason, Asterion. Interesting. Okay, we're just going to intimidate. Gorgeous. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! <laughs> You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. At least things have stayed interesting. All right. So I guess we avoided a bit of a fight there. I take all this stuff for camp supplies. Looks like we can we just kind of get uh, the run of the area now. It looks like you can. You can break this, maybe. Wouldn't take much to send that stone crashing downwards. Yeah. I am. I didn't want to do that. Addition to in a very look at me twice now. You. Can you shoot that? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. Okay. There's a room down there, but I'm not Let's sure. Hold on. Let me change back to Josh Rick here. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Oh, that's sad. Can't slow down. We got some bed rolls down here, some burlap sacks. Oh. <laughs> My character just lays down. Ah, oh, this is nice, dude. Nice. Torch rope, fire swill, dagger, thieves tools. 
characters laid right down. That was awesome. Where do you people look? Hey. Everything all right out there? Um. Performance, yes, it's me. Let me in. Or deception. Gimbal Bach triggered some trap. He needs help now. Oh my God, we're owning. Oh, I told him it wasn't safe out there. Get inside, and I'll rustle up some bandages. Cheese your way through. Asterion is inspired. Inspiration. You gained a point of inspiration. Use it to try again when you fail a roll. Nice. Okay. Hold on. Did I get everything out here, though? I mean, there's a box up there, but whatever. The hell? Hello there. Surprise. Your enemies are surprised. They cannot take actions, reactions, or move in the first round of combat. If you surprise these enemies with an attack, your action has been used for this round. Um, how many are there? Is it just this one? Is it just this one guy? Kind of looks like it. Um, who do we have? Asterion? You move behind him. Do extra damage to a foe you have advantage against. Sneak attack. Range attack. Fire bolts. Must have advantage. Okay. Stab. I'm going to run back here. And do a hide. Then we got this guy. Topple. Swipe at creatures and knock it prone. So it'll be prone for a turn. Just, just topple it. Oh, I missed. Well, that sucks. Good try, buddy. Shove him. Yeah, there you go. And go right here. Just, just do the basic attack. There you go. Dull moment. And then the necromancer. How much health do you have left? Ten. Torment. Poor guy. Ah, bandit's key. Nice. Some leather armor. Sick. Thanks, bud. Waste a step. Poor guy. Poor guy wasn't ready. No more prayers. Okay, use a light source like a torch or light spell to see in the dark. Creatures with dark vision don't need an external light source. Normally the patron god is obvious. Um this. Can I use a candle? No, hey. Right. How do I we can't use a candle. Um Equip the torch. Nice, dude. Read the plaque. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. The dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Okay, we got books. Curse of the Vampire, The Mortal View. Curse of the Vampire. We enjoy a good book, chat. We enjoy a good book. Yo, Bren, thank you for gifting a member to Breadloaf. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the generosity. I'm taking this cutting board, apparently. Thank you very much for that, Bren. <laughs> We're just taking random stuff, dude. A cheese wedge is good. We got supply packs, cheese wheels... Mifid Blue gifting a membership as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Who to go to? Went out to Corey. Thank you very much for it, Mifid Blue. Thank you so much for the generosity. Um, there's people in there on the other side of that door, I think.
I'm taking this portrait, I guess. This is mine now. Anything else cool in here? Doesn't look like it. Why is everyone throwing stuff? Oh, you little. All right. Well, I didn't appreciate that. Okay. I didn't appreciate that. A little out of range there. How much health do you have? This is going to be a tough fight. I'm not feeling very confident about this. Um, 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 hold on. Close the door? What the hell just <laughs> It's timed? <laughs> I'm doing alright, Lambrillion. How are you? Thank you again, Blue. Thank you again, Bren. Alright, let me uh fall back here Indeed. with this guy. Well, so much for peace. None of resources, action. Oh. Well, I guess we're just gonna fall back with you as well. It's on my feet. Nice, dude. Good job. Well done. I don't know. How, I don't really know what to do about this. Uh, I mean, I obviously want to go in there and see what's in there. I imagine there's some some good stuff in here, right? But the fact that using the lever takes an action is kind of annoying. Let me just go here. They're just shooting the door. Mage armor. Now it's my turn again. Uh, I don't know, dude. I like that they separate things between uh, these these icons. Uh, the issue I have is if I go up there and open the door, then the enemy's just gonna get some free attacks in. You know what? We we saved. Let's just try some stuff out. Survival is all that matters. Right. No, 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 no. Okay, good. That's fine. Nice shot, dude. Nice shot, man. Path is interrupted. Okay, hold on. We go here. Oh, the door's in the way. I'm seeing now. Shit. Oh. Well, that's certainly one way to do that, huh? We'll move you over here. End your turn. Well, 
that is fire. That's a... He's berserking, I guess. I hate this. Yep. <laughs> Good job, dude. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is great. This, this is this is this is great. And then we're gonna drop back a little bit here. Stop shooting my people! Oh my god, you're a sniper. Oh my god. Oh, you saved? I'm sad about that. Hiding successful. Let's go. Very, very sneaky, sir. Oh, God, the high... I should have went over there and then hid. <laughs> oh, no, dude. This guy's nuts. What the hell? This is not going well, chat. Okay, that was pathetic damage. Just be on my way. Attack of opportunity. I forgot about that again. Hey guys, I'm getting my ass kicked. Everyone's dying. Okay, yeah, let's just let's just reload. <laughs> let's just reload, dude. That is not going swimmingly. Holy, what's up, Richard? God damn. All right, so, um, about this door, hmm? About this door, guys? Very well. I did see that red barrel all the way in the back of the room, but it's just like, it's too far away for me to really do anything with. Yeah, it's ripe with magic. Let me take My you. Guide me. Hello, friends. I don't know if it needs to be fire to detonate it though. That's my issue here. But uh let's try it out. Torment. Okay, so just splashed oil everywhere. Alright. miss okay so maybe we fire bolt right there yeah though it looks like it's a little bit too late now I don't know if it's gonna work on him but let's try right there yep all right so it looks like um unless you hit it with fire directly it's not gonna really blow up Immediately, fire is definitely needed for that, for that instance.
Damn it. Coming. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. You don't do that, dude. You don't just shove someone. That's rude as shit. All right, Barton. Listen up, bud. Are right, you have eight health? You have eight health. We have to work with this. too close right no okay here you go get wrecked idiot oh you have an attack of opportunity if i walk away so let's hope that this dazes you damn it Unfortunate. Oh, did I just cancel that like an idiot? I think I did. I did that too quickly. Gorgeous. Oh, you apparently get an attack of opportunity against me as well. All right. Yep, there goes there goes that guy. He's big angry. He's big mad. All right. How much health do you have? 17. These misses are painful, bud. Stay focused. Absolutely painful. Oh my god, dude. I can't hit this guy worth anything. Bless you missed. All right, we're not going to do anything there. We're just going to uh, disengage and move out of the way again. Oh no, he's poisoned, and he doesn't get an action because why would he? Let's move you over here out of the way so you stop taking hits. We'll heal you and then end turn. Oh! Well, that was kind of messed up, dude. Don't you think? I got disadvantage all around. I got to try to go for this, though. Oh, it's down to one health. <laughs> Athletics failed, dude. Thank you. that dash so much. Uh, jeez, dude. Make it hurt. Oh. The misses are just detrimental to my cause. And I... Okay, good. You missed. I forgot to use disengage, man. 
I gotta get better about that. No, I don't want that right now. Just move like right there. There you go. Okay. What is this arc? This is weird, right? <laughs> okay, that was sick. Good job, dude. Well done. All right, you can go back here. Try to just... We're going to try to get you on the other side of this, like, path here. This door. Nice miss. Pop a bless. Ah, you saved. I hate it. Ah. Oh. What do you mean can't reach destination? Oh, there's a guy in the way. Okay, well, we're gonna stand right in front of him because I've got more health on this guy anyway. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Gorgeous. And then we'll have you heal. We're gonna have you stand right in their way. Look at that attack of opportunity and it was a critical hit. You have six health, brother. Let's hope this works. Yes. Yes. Delicious. We're just going to leave you right here. Critical miss. Get wrecked, idiot. Um... Ice beam, dude. Uh, poison spray. The day, another fight. Now you have two health left. I, I'm good. You just walk up, give him the smack. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Are right you just just do it. Thank you. Papa bless. <laughs> that was a tough damn fight, chat. That was a tough fight, but we did it. How do you miss that? That's the nature of tactical turn based combat. A little bit of RNG. That was tough, dude. Alchemist fire. Pearl of flask of liquid fire that explodes on impact. Oh, that'll be good for like hitting those barrels. You're carrying too much. Encumbered, your movement and rolls will be negative impacted until you drop some items. Okay. What? Are, where's my weights? Right there. I imagine some of these other guys can carry some stuff, yeah? You. Lazelle has nope. a dangerous look in her eyes. That's not what I wanted Let's to check. talk about. Uh, you. Really, whatever it takes. Can you pick the stuff up? Surely. I just want all this stuff so when we eventually find a town or whatever, we can sell it all. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Let's talk to you. There is work to do. Can I not heal outside of combat? I guess I can't. Okay. Keep your distance, darling. All right, let's let's go in here and let's look around. Oh, right, that. Need to find a way forward. 
What's going on in here? I swear to God, if there's more enemies lurking about. Book of Final Breath. We don't need to take a seat. There's another door there. And a door here. Hello? Stack of books. There's a rustic chest over there. We already got this other vampire book. Yes, RFI, but none of them, like, those are just strictly cosmetic. They're not anything of, like, armor value. If it has armor value, it'll say a number next to it. Describing such. Like, these, like, gladiatorial sandals, they're just strictly cosmetic. I suppose I should just heal up. This door is locked. Does it open? Lock picking impossible. So that means there's going to be a lever somewhere, probably. I mean, there's thieves tools right here. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Yep. The unclaimed. Was the verdict? Is it good? I'm loving it off. It's a good time. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her, her relations, her preferences, her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance prof proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going. And still, the goddess did not come for her dev devotee. Kalimvor pitied her, as much as the Lord of Dead is able, but he could not intervene. The cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That not of forgetting, but being forgotten. Sag, dude. Sag. Ink and quill. Looter shrunk. There's a lever right there. Okay, so there is a lever right here. Let's. That was the door back here. Most certainly was the door back here. Yep. I'll come back and look at that in a moment if I. Uh, as long as I don't forget. I just don't know if this is timed or what. I mean, nothing in here directly, but there's another door. Dank crypt. Surely this is a good idea, right? Opulent chest. Silver necklace. Another opulent chest. This whole place reeks of necromancy. Oh, that's good to hear, Screamer. I just take that whole vase. <laughs> Heavy oak doors, medium toughness. All right. Another chest over here. This one's gilded. On death and resurrection. That's right up my alley as a necromancer. Scroll of protection from good, evil and good. Yoink. As students of the arcane arts, wizards can learn new spells. Open spellbook. 
to learn new spells, detect thoughts, and protection from evil and good. That was level two. Looks like it costs 100 gold. Level two spell slot as well. Neither of those are really great for me right now, but good to know that we have the option. We also have this here. A lot of heavy doors around here, guys. A lot of heavy doors. This one seems heavier. Oh. I just feel like there's going to be traps, dude. Also, there's something over here. Looks like that's the main objective. Before we go this way, let's go the opposite way, then. This one's locked, but maybe we can... Pick it? Yeah, we can lock pick it. Thieves tools and dexterity bonus. We got to get a 10. Damn it. I'm sad. Okay, we can use inspiration here, or use thieves tools. Yeah, let's just let's just use thieves tools. We'll roll it again. Perfect. This is a popular game. Never heard of it. Baldur's Gate one and two are insanely popular. Yeah. All right, entombed scribe. All right, let's save and walk on in. Come with me. Come with me. You know what I should do, guys, real quick, is a uh, short rest. Off we go, then. Regain myself a little bit. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. Scroll of Burning Hands. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. What was that? I heard something. Heavy key. Very nice. There's also a small door over here. This place is scary, dude. <laughs> Surely opening the sarcophagus is a good idea, right? Right? Forbidden knowledge. Without doubt. Soul coin. These coins can power infernal engines in a war pick. Uh, a strange coin. I wonder Book what it's of worth. Dead Gods. Heavy chest. Uh, where's that Book of Dead Gods? than it should be with such a massive lock. Okay. We can arcana, wizard, or intelligence knock the lock open with a spell. Okay, let's look for an arcane room first. Gotta get 15 intelligence and arcana proficiency, so we gotta roll at least a 10. Critical success! Natural 20. Oh no, that was a 15. Plus the five, right? Never mind. <laughs> Not a critical. I got excited. But hey, it's open. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was uh -huh. once script is now an obliterated scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? 
Okay, religion, examine the book more closely. We gotta get at least a seven here. 18 it is. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire <laughs> pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Right. Okay, inspiration gained, 25 experience. That's gorgeous. Neat. A lot of inspiration gained around here. Scroll of Ray of Enfeeblement. That must have been the page that came loose. All right, there's... A warrior down here. Statue here. Let's go down here. Let's see. This must be the god they worshipped here. Can't say I recognize him. Okay. Let's read this plaque, if possible. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Classic. <laughs> Let's loot this scribe. <laughs> we can shapeshift. Sorry, I just kind of like that thing was like for some reason catching my attention there. Right. I gotta remember to do that as well. That's definitely a benefit of being a wizard, is replenishing our spell slots. Um, don't know that we can do anything down here, though there is a ladder right there, and a lever right there. Okay, we're gonna consider that our way out, but let me just go over here and check it out. I don't want to leave yet, but what if I gotta check this? Unlimited space and inventory? Um, no. You can see there's a cap here. Hey, Bartek. Chapel entrance. Okay. Interesting. So I guess what we could have done is we could have just sneaked all the way around. Snuck. Is snuck a word? I can't remember if snuck is a word or not. Then again, if the ladder's not down, it might not work that way. All the same. Is there a way to speed the characters up, guys? Snook. <laughs> it's Snook. Okay, looks like this entire side has been explored. I am I over encumbered? I mean, I, I guess so. Hold on. We'll just send a bunch of stuff to camp. Not proficient with light armor. How about waste. you? Okay, you're good there. What a day. You're already good there. Day this. For now. For now. 
I just have a nasty habit of picking up everything, guys. Gotta, gotta collect them all, you know what I mean? Anyone know if there's a hotkey to just hover on something and send it to camp? That's good enough. Oh yeah, you're right. So I, I was ignoring the line right there because it like didn't change the color of the bar. But now I know. Trans oh, oh. considered. Oh. Oh. Well. Turn-based mode. You've entered turn-based mode. The game has paused around you. The time is broken down into rounds that represent six seconds each. Turn-based mode can be used to avoid traps, perils, or being spotted. My turn. Engraved key in the Watcher's Guide. Uncommon dagger, looks like. Death's promise when the spear miss. Oh, is this a spear? When the spear misses its target, the wielder next attack roll against the target turns true strike. Interesting. My perception is failing me. I'm very afraid there's going to be a trap on either of these spots. There is grease there. Can't afford to stay idle. On I go. Looks like a trap. Yep, there is a trap there indeed. Delicious. Delicious. I see grease there and grease there. Two sarcophagus. Sarcophagi? Over there. A trap. Someone doesn't like this. Uh huh. Yes. That way. Oh, he slipped in the grease. That's illegal. That was mighty messed up, game. Amethyst ring. Ring mail armor. Nice. Skull and bone. Um, can you equip this? I'm not proficient with heavy armor on you. Okay. Well, that was a bit of um a bit of a big explosion. Hmm? And we barely touched the fire. Okay. Careful, I might. Soul coin, trident, studded shield. I guess we just wait there so the fire can go out. We need to bring you over here. Step out of the fire, please. All right, whatever. I gotta heal you. My God. Big old grease pit right there. One day I'll catch a break. Watch how you go. There's another trap. trap right there. Oh! There's more. Hey, uh. For a wizard in need. Let's not die, okay, guys? Great axe, nice. We need to make sure that we don't step in the path of the fire. So let me just go right about there. Let's go loot this skeleton. What trap where? Oh, there's actually a trap inside the sarcophagus I didn't realize too. Shit, man. Okay. We're pretty much right in the path of some of this fire, so let's just step out of the way there. 
This is scary. Let's go. Ready and willing. And you drink a potion, bud. You're dying, buddy. Drink a potion. To new horizons. Okay. I didn't think that was going to hurt us again. Shit, dude. Jesus Christ. Everything hurts and I'm dying. Great. We just got to get out of here. We just got to get out of this room. I should have healed. Uh, you have one health. Holy. Let's get you over here. Channel some divinity. Okay. Those aren't any good for us here. Okay. All right. Alright, he's gotta step through some fire to get over here. Shall we? He's okay. Alright. Okay. We've saved me. I think we're okay now, guys. What the shit? Man, <laughs> get up, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no way, dude. Okay. Well, let's get back out there. Oh boy. I think we're okay now and then just died immediately. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey guys, that room's a little splody. Now we know where that goes now. We don't have to worry about that. But I have to send some stuff back again. Uh, send to camp. Send camp. Camp. Everything's going to the camp. That was hilarious, dude. I thought since we were, you know, out of the way that, you know, the room wouldn't just kind of go up in flames like that, but uh, it did. So what I think we should do is maybe enter turn-based mode and then just take one character through there and just see if we can grab everything. That's what we do here. Send to... Asterion, can you wear this? Hello. Yeah, there you go, bud. Nice hat. Nice freaking hat, bud. Did I open this chest? No, oh, I missed that one. All right. Holy. Was it through here? Yeah, because we got to go open up that door. Those are empty. Wait. Where did I go? Refectory. Okay, so that's how we got in there to begin with. It's a 4th of July death trap. Yeah, right. What's up, Thomas? Yeah, it's this room right here.
Okay, is there a way to manually enter turn base mode? Right there. Okay. Let's get on with it. Step lightly. Salutations. Let's go. All right. Just trying not to trigger any traps here. Yeah, we're sending in the snob. <laughs> traps. How considerate. How considerate. No rest for the wicked, I see. I wonder what the next move is. Left a trap out for us. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Yes, very good. Uh, step slightly out of the way if possible. Lost in thought. Yep. So I think if we avoid opening the middle sarcophagus, then we won't really have the fire boss flying anywhere. So open up that one last. In the meantime, we just got to avoid, you know, all the grease. Surely that's easy. Traps. How considerate. How considerate. Remember there being grease here and here. Don't linger. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Yeah, so there's no fireballs flying around. I'm pretty sure that's just the middle sarcophagus that opens everything up as far as the fireballs go. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. I want to believe anyway. blow up the room. No, we already did that once. It did not feel very good. Don't touch me. Yes, please. Now we're stuck here. Okay. Just going to try to get this door open so that way we can just run everyone across and then the last person on their way can open up that sarcophagus and we'll be good to go. <laughs> Shared stash. Asterion has taken heavy key from Joshrick using magic pockets. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I know where we are. This is where we uh, crash landed. From the, uh, the Mind Flayer ship. All right. We're going back in then. All right. Asterion... This is a grease pit right here. Trap there, trap there. There's no trap there, so I guess we can just kind of walk him across that way. Subtle steps. Which way to the nearest library? Of course. You're fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think we got this. I think I understand this room. Take the candle and run, bud. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Can't slow down. Trap. Be cautious. Whatever comes, 
I'm ready. I'll go this way. This way. This way. You gotta play this room real careful, man. I right, actually let me do a quick save while we're here. Yeah, this is great. Good idea. If I must. Yes, you must. All right, you can stay right there, friend. Away from water deep. Forthwith. Very good. What path lies before me? Just got to get these guys out of here. This way. <laughs> it's actually pretty terrifying, guys. All right. Let's see what's to be said. Well, hello. Put you right there. Walk you right out of the room. Trap right there, so I'm trying to avoid that. All right. All right. Trap disarm toolkit to do this. I didn't need that previously. The I just opened it up last time. Is a mystery to you. I guess we're just kind of uh, SOL on that one. Watch your back. You have my attention. You know what? Enter in base mode. There we go. Okay, we're good there. All right, so that's actually a quest marker. I thought maybe there'd be a boss up this way. Okay, so it looks like we did everything that we can do here. So I guess I, I should have just taken the exit. But, uh... Oh, well, we can go over there. It'll just be easier. Mind my step. Did I pick up the tool set earlier? I thought I did, but I don't see anywhere any tool sets around, so... I mean, I did pick up a tool set in front of a locked door. That was a thing. Is this how I entered? I think that's how I entered this room to begin with. Yeah. Well, the dank, the dank crypt was a lit experience. You see what I did there? It was a pretty lit experience, guys. Also, they gave her 405 likes on the video. That's pretty sick. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all of the likes. Yeah, I know, Ultra Lemming. I was just trying to play it super safe, dude. Just, like, one thing at a time. Navigating my way through there. Because you have to remember, like, there was those, um, those, like, oil, or those, those grease spots as well. I didn't want to, like, jump onto one or something, you know? So I was just pacing my characters through there. What's up, Tide Eye? How have you been? Um, let's go over here. Can I just, like, fall in here? Hold on, let's save first. Oh, yeah. Okay. We can just kind of <laughs> quick load to get back up top. The dang crypt was quite a blast. But yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to, like, use jump or anything like that and, like, land on, like, a, a trap or something. Oh, wow, that's really far away. 
Well, I guess we head north now, guys. What an experience that was. There's going to be goblin traps all over the place, too. They did say that as well. And yet another. Hardly the warmest of welcomes. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Yeah, dude, go check out all the yelling. That's a good idea. Anything over this way? No. Uh, what do we have going on over here? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Uh -oh. The nine hells! Open the gates! Interesting guy. Ow. What the hell, man? <laughs> what the shit, dude? I just got here. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's going to be a Dark Souls anime. Yeah, we'll see how that goes, I guess. What the hell, man? Yeah. Uh... I'll bleed every last one of you. <laughs> you gonna blow in that horn? There you are. We have been rallied. Can I hit you with something from all the way down here? Okay, the camera just went derpy there. I don't know what happens, but all right. Cool. Cool, man. I guess I can't do that. Live and learn. Barely out of range. Uh, let's see. Let's just do this then. Oh, unlucky. I think I killed the ground there. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? You can't just do that, man. What the? You can't just grease a guy like that. That's rude. Goblin Booyog. I mean, it's kind of greasy right there. Oh no, let's go. Yep, alright. 
my sickle and sword. Strike them down. Why would you not kill the archer right there? Why would you not kill the archer right there, dude? What are you doing, man? Welcome back, Black Pistol. How was the gym? Okay. Let me... I can't actually get up here. All right, I'm just going to take the shots on you. Damn it. That sucks. That guy's gonna die. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Oh, you stood up? Good job, man. I'm proud of you. I don't want to use Firebolt here because the grease will explode. That's not ideal. Situational actions, general tutorial. You have unlocked an action at the result of another ability, feature, or condition. It will remain on at the side of your hotbar until the conditions expire. All right, so we can do like it'll just do more damage on his next turn, right? Guys, you got to stop missing your attacks. I'm telling you. Good job. <laughs> How's the game so far? It's excellent. What's up, Robin? How you doing this evening? Oh. Now I'm poisoned. How much health do you have? Two? That guy's dead. I guess we can just try to move up out of the grease. And then just... Do that. We're 11 out of 13 health. Oh, right. Because I'm, uh, because I killed him with a necromancy ability, it gave me a whole bunch of health back there. That was nice. Warg is almost dead. Um, guess we'll get you right up there and see if you can land a shot from back here. Gorgeous. Love to see it. Oh, that guy just... That guy's down. Nice. All right. And blast him. Oh my God, dude. All right. This game is sick. Yeah, it's pretty sick, man. Oh, that's one health. Here's my luck again. Have to keep going. How much health do you have? Seven? Not enough movement for that. Gorgeous! Critical miss. What a loser. Nope, not what I wanted to do. That was stupid. That okay, GG. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Where is that bastard? Damn vermin. Hold on, we should loot everything.
Certain actions are frowned upon by others. Get caught, you might find yourself in a prison cell. Okay, so is looting the enemy a uh, frowned upon thing? Quite exhausted. A good night's sleep would do me. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. It's red. It's showing up red here. Oh. I can loot Zakrub, though. Loves of power. Absolute bane on a melee hit. Possible, possibly inflict a one die four, negative one die four penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Sleight of hand plus one. This guy has two javelins and a morning star. What the? All right, so I can't loot the rest of these guys for some reason. Or some of them I can. I don't really know why. Some I can, some I cannot. I don't know if that's intended. Nope. You know, I'm sending them to camp thinking that I'm going to be able to sell them at camp, but I don't know if that's possible. I just thought about that. Oh, well. Must be you can't loot the ones you didn't kill? Maybe so. Bullywug Trumpets. I didn't kill this one, though. This one up here got killed by the guy up top. I get everything out of you? Yeah. All right, open One up, dude. After Hello? Thank you. Emerald Grove. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Yes, James, the game hit full release just today. And Calred, you would generally think so, but a lot of the things that I could not loot without, um, you know, potentially being considered a thief were goblins themselves. Why you never use stealth in combat? I did earlier, Maestro. I did use some stealth in or combat earlier where it was more necessary. Uh... One fight just ended, now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Uh oh. All right, we can intimidate. If you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. Stand back and watch or persuasion. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Intimidation. Critical success. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Could be on their way. My first natural 20, and it's just an intimidation oh, roll. This parasite than a we, need to leave. we need a healer. Um, anything cool going on over here? I mean, there's a person in that chair. Cannon's dead. Yup. One scary chick? I am not a chick. The hollow. I care oh, hey, this guy's a traitor. A future. No. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. 
Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. What ritual are you talking about? Ah, I forgot. You're a blow-in. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. Um, what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Of course it does! Okay, trading and bartering are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. We can haggle. All right, let's see. We got all these items on us. Didn't I send these to the camp? Did I, do I, yeah, I think this is all stuff in my camp, where a lot of it is. We just sell a lot of it. Um... Right, hold on. Um, nope. Don't think we need all these torches. Calm down, please. I this is the game of the year 2023 mind. for a reason I cannot mention on YouTube. Um, not sure what that means, but I'm enjoying my time with it all the same. sell both of those book of the dead gods i mean i guess we can sell that since i already read it we already got the value out of it the snob looted some stuff also yeah hey, you want to buy some skulls bud this is about your precious borders gate i care about our lives our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Have those. So all I just really did pick up a whole lot of nonsense I didn't need to pick up. I feel like I need to keep that one and read it. Have that. Have the bottles. Hold on, how much is that portrait worth? Fifteen? Have an onyx, have a plate, have a pearl, have some glass chalices. I just picked a whole lot of worthless shit, man. Um, we couldn't possibly give that to our cleric. Okay, what do you have? Gloves of missile snaring. You can interrupt, intercept mm -hmm. missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by one die 10 plus your dexterity mm -hmm. modifier. Interesting. That costs 384. Holy. Arrow of Illmater. One die four necrotic damage. Hold on, it's single use. Is that what that is? I mean, it's a, it looks, it says it's a melee weapon. It looks like it's a staff, possibly, but it says single use on it. Hmm. I was hoping that it was a whole staff that we'd be able to upgrade to. Arrow of acid, single use, bunch of arrows of elemental stuff. Potion of healings. They cost 120 each. God damn. Throw damage, arrow of darkness. Oh, it's a, it's an actual arrow type. That's what it is. For me, for me, that looked like uh like the the top of a staff. And again, it says melee on it. 
even even this arrow of darkness has melee on it, so I don't know. I'm confused. This is about your precious Baldur's Gate. I care about our lives. How about our these? Ray, Fro Ray of Frost, no, Mage Armor, Fog Cloud, Chromatic magician. Orb. Take that back. Right yeah, the arrows say melee on them as well. It's kind of strange. Anyway, let's just... Pale staff inlaid with a droplet shaped topaz is cool to the touch. So it does zero to seven damage. Create water, level one transmutation spell, and main hand topple. Gale can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. Hmm. It costs 240. I'm gonna buy it just because I'm very curious. Sylvanas, guide your path. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? Huh? Oh, hold on. Where is the, uh, is there not an auto sort? Yeah, sort by. And then... There you go. There you go. There's some stuff down there. We got some people yelling about stuff up here. Rolling in Cal. <laughs> Calm down. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. I mean, Ricky, there's nothing wrong with talking about that on YouTube. I mean, you're even allowed to have a certain amount of it in your videos and stuff. The waiting's getting... Hells! We can't just leave! They're kin! I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay! These people aren't fighters. We can help! Or yell louder. That's fine, too. Um, you should all stay. Let's persuade them to stay. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. All right. Look at that. We solved that issue, didn't we? Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would fight the troll. Let's speak to Asherok. Children! The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. All right. To talk. What do we have down here? Auntie Ethel and Octa. Let's go speak with Auntie Ethel. Like this? Where did I put that? Over? Almost. Turn your wrist out a little. No problem. We're exposed now. Again. Um. There's Octa. Where's Auntie Ethel? Oh, you're in there. Okay. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Oh, yeah? Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Um. <laughs> no, thank you. Smells more than enough. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a bowl, dude. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Oh, taste half bad. I found some gruel, guys. I got some gruel. Uh, 
Garbage isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Pickle. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will <laughs> sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Um. I'm just here to trade. Hey, bother. What do we got? Potion of invisibility. Turn invisible. The condition ends early if you attack or cast a spell. Coralon's Grace. Another quarter staff. Natural Pugilist. You gain plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. Unhampered resistance. While the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus to saving throws. Hmm. Hmm. Right, the potion of healing here is a little cheaper. But yeah. Anyway. Take care now, sweetie. Hey, thank you. I'm Thanks, grumpy, Auntie Ethel. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scour and who do we have here? Another troll. traitor. <laughs> You're an idiot. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. Just gotta see what everyone has, man. You need to replace any gear? Just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Oh, all sorts of weapons here. Look at that, a halberd, guys. A halberd, a rap rapier, some long bows, short bows, hand axes, maces. Of course, we have a lot of basic stuff, too. All right, our mace is two to seven damage here. Why is this one? Oh, this one's three to eight because you're proficient with it. Gotcha. One die six plus two. I don't know if that's really worth getting. It doesn't really do anything special. It just has the weapon enchantment plus one. Yeah. How much does it cost? 96? That's really not bad, though. Most of the cost is mitigated right there, so let's just do that. Did it do it? I'm sad. Offer's been refused. Okay, hold on. Let me just... There you go. Oh, okay. So we gotta we have to actually go to trade. There you go. There you go. That cost got mitigated with what I just did there, so it's fine by me. Okay. What do you have going on here? Your Bex, Dennis. All right, looks like we got everything covered here. Let's us continue this way. Oh, hold on. Zoru. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Two I minutes. Am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would fright a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. Get help from Healer Netty. Find the Githyanki Kresh. Healer Netty. Camp nearby with someone named Nettie. Can supposedly heal any wound. She might be able to help remove the parasites. Show on map. Down that way. Heal a Nettie! Give it a good whack. <laughs> Give you a good whack, idiot. Alright, healer Nettie is like right here somewhere. Maybe right there. No, that's Torin. Taking your rope and your tongs. 
collector of valued objects. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Whoa, dude. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Yes, Unbecant. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. Uh-huh. I've nice. got more where that came from. Real yeah. cheap, too. Interested? <laughs> this is no magic ring. The runes are gibberish. Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother... She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. Take your ring. What do you have to trade? Thank you. That means so much. That's what I got. Save failed perception. What did he just do? Okay, we have some dyes here, uh, food, supply packs, ring of resistance to ants, ring of infinite wishes, ring of lichenesis, ring of being really invisible. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. I really like that ring. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Ah. Relax, won't get angry. Didn't even manage to get anything from me. Get out of my sights. Uh, observe her silently. Maybe these are just crocodile tears. Ignore her theatrics and grab her. Detect thoughts. Read her thoughts. What's in that brain? You see her hand in your bags and the shame in her heart. Something tells me the thieving life isn't for you. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. All right, Mattis. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. You can make it right by giving me a percentage of your take. Fine. I'm not so good at counting, but I think any percentage of zero is zero. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. So here's the thing. I did fail one perception roll, so I do think they got something out of me. But what can we do? What can we do, dude? Please, last room. It is for... Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Huh. <laughs> That's a whole bear, isn't it? We got ourselves a druid here. Hey guys. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You get back. Hmm. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Why? What's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can you just let me buy? Ignore them and proceed. I'm going with number one. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. All right. Oh, I do wish I could understand you. Stone door. Open up. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost right, let's make a save here. Release her. I feel like something big's going on she here. Stole the idol of uh oh. She must pay the price. We uh oh. The thief this is the actual game, Davy. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a. A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. One of your guards outside and you said you wanted to see me. Here I am. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. All right, nature. Don't druids cherish harmony? Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Persuasion. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Detect thoughts. Read Kaga's mind. Keep silent or prepare to attack. Okay, we're going with this. It's a hard roll to get, but we got it. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. <laughs> You've proven your authority. Now prove your mercy. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sivasif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. What hurts? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin was. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. Ah, she's on a power trip, dude. She is on a power trip. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? We bit? Only a monster would threaten a child. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I just wanted to see what would happen. Okay. I'm gonna go with two. First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. How you doing, TMO? We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Right must be born of powerful magic. You can't just force these people out. Free from the threat of little children. And do what you want. It's none of my concern. Um, this right must be born of powerful magic. The right of thorns. It is the tree father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters. No one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Hmm. Do what you want. It's not my concern. So you say. Yet the child walks free. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You're weird, lady. You can prattle all you want. The refugees are not my concern. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business. <laughs> I was just seeing if I could, like, get under her skin by just, like, not giving a shit. But, uh, you know. It is what it is. Anything cool going on in here?
I wonder if I go back here, if they'll like follow me or if anyone will be like, hey, something's happening. Oh, there's a person back here. Hey, Nettie, how you doing? Is this a number on you? I see you. Just give me a moment. Wait patiently. This There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I need help now. <laughs> Healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I don't want to be rude, but this game sucks ass. I mean, not every game is for everyone, Mead. That's okay, man. You know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. I am having a we blast to be playing quick. this, though. This way. Oh. Secret doors. Oh. <laughs> the door just kind of snapped shut on me. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Oh. Is everyone being captured by mind flayers these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still... We have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plan? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Um, I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Uh, but you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. Oh. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. Have a good night, Raph. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now... Do I have your word or not? I swear. All right. Oh, no. Hold on. All right. Hand it over. Swear it. Oh. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. You know, 
I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Right. Hey, Walker, you're the five dollars. Looks fun to me. Have some juice coins. Thank you so much, Walker. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for the generosity. It means a lot. Sorry, I might have missed it. Electing to have the helm obscure Josh's character during cutscenes as part of the RPG experience. Yeah, that's common in RPGs, man. Oftentimes, games will have an option to, like, make the helmet, like, it'll give you the stats, but it won't actually, like, be visible. So, it's like, that's an option a lot of the time, but, yeah, I mean, that's just part of games like this. Have a good night, Raph. What console is this? I'm on PC. You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms, for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Yes, Elvis. Yep, there's 17,000 total different branches of endings. There's going to be, like, main branches of certain things that you do, right? But every, every like, choice will have a variation on the ending in some way, shape, or form. Hey, that's great to hear, Benny. Thank you so much. I think it's only a matter of time. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So what do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Um, sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson... Or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice. Truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. Alright, well, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. Right. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Right. Time, well, Betty. that's all a thing, isn't it? That certainly is a thing. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Let's get out of here. This whole area is just kind of not it for me, huh? <laughs> TMO, they give the five dollars as well. Seventeen K endings? Oh wow. Their playability is live and well with Larry and go Josh. <laughs> so there's gonna be like I said, there's gonna be like main branches, but every it looks like every major choice is gonna have some like variation that's gonna change how the ending is going to be for every individual's playthrough. So it's pretty cool to see. There's gonna be a lot of similarities, right? But if you know, for major things, as long as you make different choices, you know what I mean? You're gonna end up with wildly different results at the end of the day. Have a good night, Ultra Lemming. Wizard level three. Two spells. Class features one level one spell slot unlocked and a level two spell slot unlocked. You get two level two spell slots, which are restored on a long rest. Okay, uh, before I look this over, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. I have to pee, and I'm going to look over all these spells because we unlocked a whole bunch of new ones, and I'm looking forward to checking this out. I will be right back, though, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for leaving a like on the video. We're at 450 now, which is amazing. Thank you for being here. I'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Let's take a look at these spells, shall we? Arcane lock. Close a door or container with a magical lock. It can no longer be lock picked or opened with a knock or with knock. Blindness, limit of foe's sight range is easier to hit and the creature will miss more often. Blur. Attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Cloud of daggers. Conjure a cloud of spinning daggers that attack anyone inside. Crown of madness. Instill madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the creature closest to them, other than you, even if it's allied. Darkness, create a dark shroud that heavily obscures and blinds creatures within. Creatures cannot make ranged attacks into or out of it. Dark vision, grant a creature with the ability to see in dark out to a range of 12 meters. Detect thoughts, focus your mind to read the thoughts of someone. Enlarge slash reduce. Make a creature larger or smaller to affect their weapon damage and strength checks and saving throws. Flaming Sphere. Summon a Flaming Sphere that damages nearby enemies and objects. You can move the sphere. It emits a bright light. Interesting. Gust of Wind. Summon a strong wind that clears all clouds and pushes creatures back five meters, forcing them off balance. Hold person. Hold a humanoid enemy still. They can't move, act, or react. Attacks from within three meters are always critical hits. Interesting. Interesting. Isn't Necro spell a subclass for Warlock? No, it's for Wizard. I would not be a wizard otherwise. Invisibility. Touch a creature to turn it invisible. Attacks against it have disadvantage. It attacks with advantage. Knock. Unlock an object that is held shut by a mundane lock. Magic. A weapon. Nice. Infuse a weapon with arcane energy. The weapon becomes magical, receiving a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. Melf's Acid Arrow. Six, <laughs> four die four plus two die four acid delayed shoot a green arrow that covers the target in the ground with acid dealing four to 16 acid damage immediately and two to eight acid damage at the end of the target's turn mirror image three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers each duplicate increases your armor class by three misty step surrounded by silver mist you can teleport and occupy to to an unoccupied space you can see Acid Arrow does sound cool, yeah. Phantasmal Force, 1 die 6 Psychic. Deal damage to a creature each turn. Type of damage changes to the last type the creature suffered. Hmm. Ray of Enfeeblement. We did get a scroll for that earlier. Weaken a foe. They deal half the damage with weapon attacks using strength. Scorching Ray, 6 die 6 fire damage. Hurl 3 rays of fire. Each ray will deal... Each ray deals 2 to 12 fire damage. See invisibility. Pretty self-explanatory. Shatter. Damages all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone have disadvantage on their saving throw. Web. Cover an area in thick flammable webbing that slows creatures within and possibly unwebs them. My god. So how many uh, necromancies were there? Just the one, right? Enfeeblement. I didn't see any other necromancies here. Oh no, blindness is necromancy. Okay. So I'm thinking blindness and then kind of want acid arrow hmm yeah I think I'm gonna take blindness and acid arrow for this hmm. all right we can level you up Cleric level three. Holy lot of spells. Tricky domain spells, mirror image. Trickery, not tricky. And then pass without trace, call forth the veil of shadows and silence that gives you and all nearby companions a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks. Nice. Do your allies increase their hit point max by five points. Nice. Wait, you get blindness too? That's sick. 
You get whole person. Holy. Trust me. All right, Asterion needs a level up. I'm not sure where the Guardian comes into play, Grog, Greybeard. Okay, you get Mage Hand, gain two cantrips, two spells, gain a spell. Okay. We're going to give you lights. Um, hmm. Minor illusion. Okay, we got spells, charm person, charming humanoid to prevent it from attacking you. you. Gained advantage on charisma checks in dialogue. Color spray, blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. Disguise self, magically change all aspects of your appearance. Tasha's hideous laughter and then sleep. Turn on that charm and that disguise and then expand it. What do we have here? You can add a wizard spell of your choice to spell casting repertoire. How is the game and why is Diablo better? I'm sorry, buddy. Diablo is not better than this. It is simply not. Oh, let's go Featherfall here, actually. And then Gale. We made him a uh, evocation, right? Evocation. And we got darkness there. Acid arrow as well. Scorching ray. That that's a big one. That's that's a big damage right there. Burning Hands. Oh, that's a level one spell slot, though. Hmm. We're going to give you Acid Arrow as well. Okay, so we have a few things that we have to do. We need to go find and speak with Zoru. For two different reasons. Uh, there's also you over there. Save the refugees. Return to Zevlor. I guess we can go speak with Zephlor too. I guess. Let's explore. I mean, don't get me wrong. I had a good time with Diablo, but the game has a very short uh, lifespan with how the content works. Yeah, we want to go right down here, right? I'm glad that we can just kind of click far away and the characters will just go there. It's nice. Easy money. Looking ahead. Best be on my way. All right. So where is this guy? Oh, okay. Ledges I can climb. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty common sentiment, Black Crystal. Pretty common sentiment. Mm. Oh, that is Zevlor down there. Never mind. My mistake. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. 
If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Leavings the Grove. Leavings the Grove. That, that, that made my mind trip for a moment. Leaving the Grove is the best option. I can help. Can you delay the ritual? You have to resist, or best of luck with that. This has nothing to do with me. All right, I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. Have a great night, it's Captain. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Kill the Goblin Horde's leaders? I'll see what I can do. That depends. Can you pay me? I suppose so. We don't have much, but we'll scrape together whatever we can. Um... Make sure it's enough. Of course. Everything we have. Anything we can give you, we will. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. All right. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins... Let's go up here now. They'll find it. Wait, why is that red? Of course. Why does this show up red? I'm going to do a quick save and then just see what happens here. La Crissa. Um, looks like there's a traitor right here, right? Guess we'll go speak with La Crissa. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Now that attitude, fight and win. <laughs> There's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? <laughs> not really a gambler. I'm not the wagering type. No? Shame. I thought you might enjoy a little fun. <laughs> Be safe out there. Whatever comes your way. Okay. Let's take a look here. I need to get up to this Githyanki crash. So I'm going to go talk to that person real quick. Um, How do we get back down there? Wooden hatch. And then this door over here. <laughs> the grunts as they like fall down the cliffs. Ooh. Ooh. No helping it. We're exposed now. Okay, we got that one there. What's this one here? Save Arabella. Find Arabella's parents. Oh right. Let me go speak with them oh, first. The I think Arabella is the name of the girl that we saved. There we are. Okay. Let me save real quick and then we'll speak with them. Well, it's our job to get you ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Okay. <laughs> Saved your daughter. Got anything more than a thanks for me? 
<laughs> I did, but I was robbed. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Marry. All we can offer is our thanks. Arabella? Thank you for helping me. All right, Arabella say her parents are grateful for your intervention. We got Kamira's Locket. Grants us wear the ability to cast dancing lights. Okay. All right, dude. All right, if I had to guess, it's Mattis and the other person that stole from them. But, you know, just a hunch. Just a bit of a hunch I have. Yeah, Maurice, it's a pretty big game to download. Yeah. Uh, someone's very angry over there. What does dancing lights do? It uh, drunk, lights up an area. No fun waiting for death sober. I already spoke with you. Okay. Um, we should be getting drunk at least. No fun waiting for death sober. Okay, good talk, man. I'm glad that worked out so well. Okay, so I guess we will go. Found Zoru. Please, I want will want to speak with him. All right. All right. So let me do a thing. I'd die if I met heroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Yeah, it's just a spell you cast and lights up an area, Richard. Just as it says, it's just dancing lights in an area. Uh, we need to. How do we edit our party? Where is the person? There you are. Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Helsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Uh, I'd like you to join me. You've no room. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Uh. Okay, so we can ungroup. Okay, we're going to uh, lose Gale here. that work? Uh. Oh, so that makes it so we can like, okay. I don't know how we change our group composition. Anyone know? Anyone in chat know? I don't know how to dismiss. Is that ungroup? Yeah, ungrouping just makes it so that they don't move as a group. You see how it like put, puts a little separation between them so that we can control like an individual thing? I don't know how to actually like remove someone from the party. Can I do something here? No. Examine. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for us. Just brings up their character sheet. Talk to him and tell him to leave. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. You think there would be a faster way to do it, but it is what it is. in your touch you're a wizard aren't you you're a wizard harry i am why do you ask would you consider yourself particularly well read the aid of someone learned would be of great use to me 
reading a book, reading a whole book every day before our unhappy capture. The limited time for reading that undergoing seramorphosis leaves pains me so. You and I both know the aid a powerful sage could bring us. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Um. How can I help? He remain in camp for a while rather than on the road with me. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. All right. I'll be here. Good call, Jack. Thank you. Speak. It is done. It is done. All right, let me level you up it now. Breeds madness. Okay, 20 health and action surge. Immediately gain an act extra action to use this turn. Nice. Oh, we can choose a subclass here. All right, we got Battlemaster. Battlemasters are paragons of tactical superiority, combining combat maneuvers and experience in the field to dominate every fight. Superiority dice are D8s. You have four. At fighter level 10, these dice become D10s. They fuel your Battlemaster maneuvers and are expanded upon use. You regain you regain expended superiority dice after short or long rest. And then we have Eldritch Knights. Eldritch Knights study magic to supplement their weaponry, allowing them to overcome resistance from the toughest foes. Interesting. Virtually bind the weapon in your main hand. The weapon can't be knocked out of your hand and automatically returns to you when thrown. Hmm. And then champion. You approach the complex problems posed by combat with one distinctly effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. Improved critical hit. The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Interesting. So I've already got a good amount of magic going on with what I have in my in my party. I, you know, if I was playing a fighter myself, I would likely go Eldritch Knights, but I feel like I feel like Battlemaster is probably the best choice here. Okay, maneuvers are powerful attacks that use superiority dice. Direct an ally to strike a foe. That ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. Okay. Disarming attack. Okay. Distracting strike. Distract your target, giving your allies advantage on their next attack roll against it. Ooh. I just got to look all these over real quick. Evasive footwork, evade attacks, enemies receive disadvantage on melee attacks against you. Fainting attack, use both your action and your bonus action this turn to attack a target with advantage and bonus damage. And then goading attack, goad an enemy into attacking only you. It gains disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone but you. And then, oh, that's for melee and ranged, okay. Maneuvering attack, attack an enemy on hit. You can use force maneuver on an ally, increasing their movement speed. Possibly frightens your target. They'll be easier to hit and cannot move. And then precision, your next weapon attack is an attack roll. Bonus equal to your superiority, superiority die. Um... Why does her post not show up? Weird. Okay. On miss. Does not spend superiority dice. Interesting. Rally. Grants an ally eight temporary hit points with a bolstering cry. Can only have temporary hit points from one source. So I think repost is just a matter of like, if you get hit, you hit back. 
It's a helmet, Miss Bradica. It's a helmet my character's wearing. Sweeping attack. Swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc to attack multiple enemies at once. And then trip attack. Powerful attack that possibly knocks the, the target prone. Okay, I'm going to go with repost. Distracting strike. Mm, I think commander strike would be really great if we had multiple, multiple like melee things. Like, you know, fighters. I guess menacing. I don't know, dude. I definitely like distracting. Shark, have a good night, man. Thank you for chilling today. I'll see you later, dude. Having a hard time making choices here. All right, I'm going to go distracting, precision, and repost. Uh, I guess we should talk to everyone as well, right? Can't give up now. Speak. Man, you're really angry. Are you sure a crush is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crush contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Yeah, Black Crystal, there's an insane amount of diversity in builds in this game. kind of wisdom is very valuable countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond observing the ways of our lessers exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage the planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting the githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge yet we still collect more infinities upon infinities Right. Very well. Need something? Nice hat, dude. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Oh, all right. All right, dude. I'll go speak with um, Shadow Hearts. Which I think Shadow Hearts the crowd favorite, right? The crowd favorite right now. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. Yeah. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Yeah. It's just something I have to live with. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. All right. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. I, I can't just forget. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Um, how am I holding up in your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. You must have thoughts about a little stowaways. Must I? 
Thinking about it won't help. Hi, Darby. We know what to do, so let's do it. I will say hello to Darby. Find a way to rid ourselves of Goodbye. these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us to not stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Family? A friend? A lover? Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. Okay. All right. Um... We should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Hmm. <laughs> Just looking to make conversation. Conversation shouldn't be made. It should be grown. Let the seeds sprout in their own time. <laughs> You're deflecting. You were hiding something from me? Say for a moment that I was. Do you think your blunt approach would get me to confess? <laughs> Blunt's all I have left if you keep being so evasive. A shame you feel that way. Just don't expect me to entertain your questions if you won't respect my privacy. I mean, fair. Fair. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Um... We already spoke with Gale. Okay, I guess we can just kind of just kind of rest. Oh no, dude! Go to bed. Someone at camp still wishes to speak to you. Oh, who is it? Oh, Asterian. Little exclamation point now. It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. Am I disturbing you? No. Just thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Doesn't have to be, we can still travel together. Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. Bruh. You're quite the ally after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Just trying to survive like you. Yes. We're more similar than I thought. <laughs> you can stop staring. Uh, was I? I just... I just need to get some air. Clear my head. I mean, we're outside, I'll man. see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have a uh, conversation over here now. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. <laughs> Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. I hate the moon. The tears of Saloon, you mean? Yes. Rocky bodies named after a false goddess. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Must be quite a shock to leave your crash behind and arrive here. Do you think me so sheltered? Yes. My entire clutch <laughs> battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. 
We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. And the audio kind of got a little weird there. It sounded like she was like very far away for a moment. Odd, right? Okay, gotta speak to Shadowheart again. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. How are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Mm. No hesitation. I just end your misery then and there. Wise. Though, I hope you'd miss me after I'm gone. I think I would if the positions were reversed. But you're right. If we're to make it through all this, there can be no room for hesitation. You're doing well. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. Rest well. Okay, so she's really confusing. She seems like she's really evasive, and then she says something like that, like, I, I, I would miss. Or no, I guess, I guess she was kind of being cocky about it. I would miss me. <laughs> okay. Yo, Daz, thank you for 16 months of membership, man. Thank you very much, bud. Thank you very much. Oh, didn't realize. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Rest. What are you doing? Why is he sneaking? Why is he sneaking around? I'm confused. Okay, anyway, we can get out of here. How's the game? I'm loving it, Ether. Loving the game, dude. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You heard the woman. Bow. Oh, Shadowheart disapproved. <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> Lower. That's enough, Lazel. I'll take it from here. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Enough, Lazel. You will be silent. You, tell me where you saw the Githyanki. On the road. Githyanki. Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. Man, I just... I just... Ran. The map. Thanks, Show Rose. Me. Hey guys, we're just 25 likes away from 500. If you are enjoying your time here, if you're enjoying the game, enjoying the stream, definitely leave a like for me. It would be really cool to hit 500. Thank you very much, dudes. Thanks for the information. You can get up. Oh, I guess we gotta speak with Lazel. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Subordinate? No, we're partners. You'll treat me with respect. Kenyak, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. What did you mean, purification? 
The creche holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Did you say tiefling? I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. And no, no, it's Faerun. <laughs> Man, she, she's kind of nasty, dude. She's kind of nasty. Nothing nice to say ever. Okay, over there, defeat the goblins. Travel to the goblin camp, search for Halson. Then over here, find the Githyanki patrol. Search the search for signs of the Githyanki crash near the mountain pass in the northwest. All right. Well. Since there is this here, let's check this out. Looks like a, a jail. What's going on here? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too. You, move! Okay. You won't avenge cannon. It won't change anything. Gorgeous. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? A goblin prisoner. Her life isn't yours to take. Your soft heart will be the death of us. Not sure I get that. The bars don't make her special. But fine. Whatever. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. You're gonna be sorry! Every <laughs> last one of you! So I think, um... Having Lazel and Shadowheart in my party at the same time is going to be very similar to having Alistair and Morgan in your party at the same time in Dragon Age Origins. Every decision you make is going to make one happy and piss off the other. There, there's just no in between and they don't oh, agree you on anything. Thieves are all boring. Even you ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Wizard, in all of my studies, I've seen no reference to a god called the Absolutes. Goddess, we're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. You caught my interest. Have any holy literature on you? My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. Bah! A clever goblin's like a trustworthy geek. A figment of the imagination. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Um... You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Ooh. Not a chance. You can run that cage. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. <laughs> You're just so I'm gonna rude. Bite the heads off your kids and your birdies. Right, it doesn't look like anything special back here. Man, 
Everyone around here is just nasty, dude. Everyone's just so mean. So rude. Alright, let me travel back to this. Because we can just go westward from here. Yeah. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Quiet. We don't need no inner party, uh... Any, any inner parter party drama. Relax. Everyone just chill. Okay. So that's... that. This stuff is all the way over here. Jeez. Well, I guess we have quite the adventure on our hands. Let's go. Everyone's so angry, man. Only if my people extract people them. The only Something's other wrong. cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. All right, let's save and let's try to help these people out. Hang on, Ed. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Covid wisdom, I will go where I wish. Okay, well, I only had to get a two, so. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, true soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Oh. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Try to block him out. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will... He... He... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Um, I guess I'm a true soul, true soul guys. So I think that uh, based on what, what just happened here, the chosen ones are people with the uh, the worms, the tadpoles in their heads, and that he can detect like they you know they can all detect each other essentially. And I so maybe the absolutes is just like some mind flayer, like so, like I don't know what level of mind flayer, but just some mind flayer that just is like controlling people in the area. I don't know. That's all I got. What happened to your brother, exactly? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. Oh. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul like you has been chosen by the absolute you speak with her voice your words are her command she grants you the power to enforce her will and when the time comes the true souls you will rule ah, i will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's <laughs> why do you have always, something always to say just shut up <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. You! Uh, Brenna! Kill him! 
Oh, oh, just like that. Okay, okay. That's all I had to say, and all of a sudden, you just want me dead. All right, dude. All right, bro. Jeez. Critical miss. Good job, idiot. Time to strike. All right, what do we have here? Getting that back with a short rest. Um, I mean, there's only the two of them. We really shouldn't need to spend a whole lot of resources on this. Nice days, good stuff. Oh my god, that was actually gorgeous. Good job. And we'll just kind of get right in the way of this guy. How dare you? Sir? How dare? Uh... I got to work on my uh, spell situation here. Let's see. Let's just do this to you. Oh, I have to, I'm rolling with disadvantage here. All right, let's try it out. I missed. Sag. Oh my God, this guy's mad lad. This guy's a mad lad. I did seven and nine there. How did that work? How did I just get two hits there? Not sure how that worked, but it is what it is. All right, good job, everyone. We are clapping. Nice little healing. All right, let's. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Oh yeah. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. Strengthen you. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Uh. I don't know, man. Okay. Wisdom. Can I resist? We can indeed resist. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Welcome back, JR. How did that choice turn into a fight? Because they they said that they were looking for the you know the people in the crash ship because they considered them criminals for whatever reason. And so when I said that I, you know, I was on that ship and when it crashed, you know, they considered me a criminal. Ooh, spicy sausage links, salami, pork sausage. Oh my god, this guy's got all the sausage in the pockets, dude. What's he, what's he doing? Where did the other person go? There you are. Brina. Time to press ahead. Hold on, rogue's morsel. Can you encourage the transformation into a mind flayer? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Come on, man. I mean, it's very clear that you can, you know, have some type of advantage going on with it, but I don't know like how far it goes. 
All right, that goes underneath the bridge there. Kind of want to investigate that. It looks like one of the Mind Flayer pods. Oh my god, the acid. Get the boots, man. Right, let's go. Ruptured Mind Flayer pod. An empty Mind Flayer vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Hmm. All right. Yo, what's up, Slacy? How you doing, man? All right. Well, nothing special out of that circumstance, so I guess we got to go back up. So, then again, maybe we can cross here. I'm worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I... <laughs> what did I just step in? Oh, yeah. Owl bear. Well. I did a quick save. Let's go in and see. Oh, right on, Slicey. That's cool, man. Thank you for being here. Looks like there's some loot down here. Maybe. Let's take the uh, the the That's safer path dead. instead of jumping off that cliff. Dead yeah. Prey, no doubt. Let's make a save again. Hey, Hellenic Black Metal, thank you for hanging out and the ten gifted members. I really appreciate it, dude. There's the owl bear, level three, and owl bear cub. Oh boy. All right. Hellenic, thank you so much for the 10 gifted members. That's big. Big. Thank you, man. And just in case, if you tried getting good, insert that wherever applicable. You got it, man. I will. <laughs> like it's well be done. Quickly, then. Thank you very much, Hellenic. I really appreciate it, dude. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Study the owl bear's behavior. That's a big roll to get, and we got it! We got it! The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. All right. Hold out your palms, you mean no harm. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now. We'll step closer and die. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if we should fight this thing. I guess we just go down this cliff right here. Looks like there's a path back this way that leads up behind it. Yeah, so the only thing of real importance down here is just this. Outside of that, we'd just be fighting a really tough enemy. I will be heard. Need something? No. This. We don't need the stone. Pickaxe. Let's take that. I've been channel a lot recently, but always lurking. Hey, I appreciate it, man. 
Incredibly kind. Hope all is well with you as well. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Oh my damages. Okay, well. Let's see what we got. What can we do here? Besides, hopefully not die. Scroll the tech thoughts. War between Saloon and Shar. Ancient tomes detailing how Saloon came into being along with her sister Shar. The Silver Radiance, the Silver Radiance Saloon and the Dark Alluring Shar com complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Right. Potion of animal speaking. taking all this stuff okay um hmm. Saloon seal made of precious stone covered in gold. Chest is both sturdy and pleasing to the eye. <laughs> okay. Well, that lasted one, one hit. Great. Great. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything else that I can do. Okay. It just has like all those resistances to it. So. Piercing resist, bludgeon resist, necrotic, psychic, poison, radiant. So it's not resistant to slash. Okay, so it took no damage there. <laughs> what system? I'm on PC, Donna. I just I just had to do it for science, okay? Just had to do it for science. I don't know that there's anything I can do here. I wish to live in more interesting times. Yeah. Trying to think. It's got to be something I can do for this. I do have this uh, thing of the potion of animal speaking. Where is it? Gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts until your next long rest. Let me see if I can speak with you. Talk. Please don't attack. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak. Oh, Something man. Something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. All right. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. <laughs> All right, let's persuade. Just allow me to leave. I'm no threat to you or your cub. Oh, shit. Okay. 
failure. Hey, we've got four inspirations. There we go. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. So what I was hoping for here is... You know, to have a deeper conversation with it. Still cool that we could even talk to it, though. Um, let's take you. Let's take this. Pick up. Okay. So we can't even pick it up. Throw it. There. Oh! Jesus, man. Wonder... Hmm. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to figure out if there's, like, something I can do with it. But I just don't think I have the capabilities. Saloon is a druidic thing, so I guess we would just have to These things have stayed interesting. worry about that. I don't have a druid with me, so it is what it is. Whatever it takes. Stop me yet. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Throw it at the owl bear. <laughs> I would if I didn't you take damage. <laughs> I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the north. They were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Yeah, Saloon and Shar. Read the books? I did, Franjo. Yeah, I, I did read the book. It was just telling me about Saloon and Shar. Um, Saloon is of the lights and Shar is of the darkness, I think it said, right? Um, hold on. Can I send this to Shadowheart? No, I guess it's the same quality. Okay. Let's get going. All right, bridge. What the hell? Catch a break. But there was more than one book. Mm, no, if there was more than one book, I picked up the others. If there was, and I'm not seeing anything here, so would be right here if I did have another book. I did get a scroll of detect thoughts. Good to but know. that's the extent of it there. Um Hold on, let me look at my stuff here. Need more spell slots, man. All right. Anyway, we carry on. We have chests right here. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Plates and knives, dude. Speak. Nope. Potatoes and garlic? That sounds delicious. 
Ooh, I just realized how hungry I am. Shit. Trap disarm toolkit. True. Goblin's drawing. Getting pretty close to this goblin camp, aren't we? Intimidation. I'm not running, but and their aim's not good enough to save you. More persuasion. Spare them the trouble and just let me pass. I'll be gone in no time. Oh, let's go intimidate. Gotta get 15 here. Oh boy. Yup. <laughs> oh no. I'd like to see you try. Ow. I am surprised. You must have had your ears to my Once you're dead. Why are you greasing it up there? Okay, that sucks. That is. My god, you guys have absurd range. Oh my god! Uh guys, I'm just reloading that. Holy shit. <laughs> They almost killed everyone outright. Nope. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work at all. How much farther can I go? Can I get up here? No? Okay, you're gonna go through that way. Something's waiting up ahead. Attacking your enemies while you're hiding will catch them by surprise and give you an advantage in combat. Shift C to hide your whole party. Is there something down here that I didn't see? Yeah, so they, uh, they greased up the whole area and then instantly exploded it. That was not great for me. Please don't remind me. I guess we're gonna go down here. Mm. Save scum to the rescue I mean I'm not against like getting myself out of a really bad spot with save scumming like there is no pure you know purity here again like with that like there was no way I was going to win that fight based on the poor position I was put in right away so I less call it save scumming and more just saving time. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out of the Oh, up, 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 up. Speak. No, I don't want to speak to you. So it looks like there might be traps in the area here. Shadow. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. All right. Oh, we have some, uh, some gobos here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Sharp Eye and Warrior. 
now. I just do. Nice. your way out of this you'll have to defend your actions the old-fashioned way yeah i mean i just blasted him with a cone of acid so <laughs> i don't expect to uh, to have much conversation here array of sickness whatever it was bone chilled baby all right, we're gonna leave uh, everyone else to be up front here. We'll take the back line. Is there any more goblins within reach here? I guess not, it's just these guys. We'll move you up a little bit. And then, this. Let's turn someone inside out. Leave you here, are you ranged attack as well? Critical miss, you suck, sir. Oh, he missed too. That's good. When I go. Okay. What the hell was that? Was that some like super powerful woodpecker? What was that noise? All right, so we did take out a couple of their guards here. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, we have ogres. Three of them, to be exact. One named Fank. I don't think being here is the right choice. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I'm, I mean, I'm level three. That's three. That's three ogres with at least one of them being level four, and who knows how many goblins. He is level one. I think this is something that we come back to when we're a little bit stronger, when we're a little bit higher level. Because where we are right now, I don't think we, uh, I don't think we can take care of any of that. Send some of this stuff over to the other people here. Let me see about you. What is your weapon? Longsword 2 to 11. How you have dagger 4 to 7. Can you equip this great axe? Yep, let's do it. You get a great axe now. Good job. Good job. Yeah, it's Frank the Ogre, dude. Never a dull moment. Frank the Ogre. These boots have seen everything. She hey. went to see you. We know she did. You know absolutely nothing, you Aegis. Hey, there's Auntie Ethel. Drop the act. Hello, friends. For the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Um... Lower your weapons? I know this lady. Sweetie, be careful! He's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! Oh, Jesus, man. You're not even gonna talk about it first? Alright. I guess not. 
10 health, 9 health. There you go, bud. That's for you. Um, let's bring you right on over here. What do we have? Cleave? Oh, that is hot. Right there? That was hot. Do you know this Mayrina they mentioned? She's their little sister, and she's staying with me. Well, they're mighty this dead is now. all my fault, but I made a promise. Mayrina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. That poor thing will be distraught. We can't let her know it and break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Right. Ethel's less helpless than she made out. I don't trust her. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really trust her much either. But I mean, these guys attacked us, so I mean, I couldn't just let that happen. What does this letter say? Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad, I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the Hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to ma'am, all right? She has enough on her plate. Marina. And now they're dead. Breathe deep and move. Exsanguinated boar. Hey, thank you for being here for the uh, for the stream tonight, Miss Braddock. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Examine the boar's corpse. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in hey, its Lelora. neck. And is it dead enough for you? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? Beautiful. I. It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. That's what I thought. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. You know? Now please, let's go. I don't know if any of you other guys in chat have noticed, but he does look like he has some pretty uh, pretty sharp teeth in the corners of his mouth as well. So I'm pretty sure he might be vampiric himself. I, uh... I've got a hunch. What's in the basket? A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Wizard Arcana, search for signs of magical interference. All right, we have to get 15, but we do get plus five total out of this. Gorgeous. We're getting really good rolls. Yeah, and he was sneaking about in the middle of the night. That's right. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Hmm. Right, let's take these apples. They're mine now. Tasty. All right, guys, listen. It's beyond 930. Let me make a solid save. We're in the putrid bog. Let's make a save. I'm going to come back tomorrow. We're going to continue playing this game. 
This has been a wonderful experience. I have loved this so much. It's just the idea of playing D&D, &D, but you don't have to worry about, you know, like, you know, having a dungeon master that is, you know, has a proper story going on. You don't have to worry about, you know, different rule sets on the fly. It's all one solid thing. You just play in one, one world with one rule sets and it's just, it's great, man. This game, holy hell guys, this has been awesome. And I am looking forward to playing more tomorrow live on stream. I'll be live at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you all for 510 likes. I appreciate it. And also, thank you for all the uh, the super chats, all the, the new members and the gifted members. Thank you all so much for being here for it. Played the early access a while ago, and even then full of bugs, it was great. No doubt. Man. Yeah, beautiful creation of D&D. This is awesome. Also, guys, listen. The turnout for today's stream was much higher than I thought it was going to be for a game like this. So... Thank you for being here for it. It was a really great time. Uh, it means a lot that you guys came by to hang out with me. And hope to see you again tomorrow for more. We're going to continue where, right here where we left off. And hope to see you there. Until then, be excellent to each other. Have a great night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.